Well, hello, 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 everybody. How y'all doing today? It's so nice to see everybody. What is up? What is up? Welcome, 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 everybody. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. It is, it is a chill Monday today. The sun is shining over here. The weather is very nice. It's starting to warm up, and it's making me very, very happy. I like honestly, I'm a I'm a winter gal through and through, but this winter was just like cloudy and gray. And honestly, I think we maybe only got like one or two snowfalls. So it, it was just kind of like it was just a bummer, you know? So I'm I'm welcoming the warm weather. Uh, I'll probably change my mind once it's summer because I do not do well with the heat, but that's okay. I, apparently, I can't take the heat. I gotta get out of the kitchen, you know? Well, come on in, everybody. How are you doing? I see you all. Uh, Nicholas, Candy, Christy, uh, Cha, Cass Cassandra, Cass, welcome on in. Seb, Azzy, uh, Lisa, so nice to see you. Welcome, welcome, everybody. How are you all doing today? We are just gonna be vibing today. So, there's a couple of things. Um, I was running to put some stuff away in the storage, but I'll kind of show you... <laughs> what we were working on last time we're just like kind of hanging out right now because right now i am in between um i'm currently working on my 200 days so i don't want to get like a giant build project started so that means we can kind of hang out on this base and just do like general base maintenance and, and just kind of like just have some fun you know so um the last stream that we did the VOD's there if you want in the live tab if you haven't caught it. Last stream, we visited the Sniffers and <laughs> um, I may have accidentally, um, a Sniffer may have fallen fallen and taken so much fall damage that he vaporized in front of me. It was very sad also. What? How did he escape? What? Oh no, this is not Sniffer proofed chat. Chat, this is not sniffer proof. Also, oh my gosh, Ruth's in here. Ruth is in my office. I had my door closed. I just saw my curtain move. I was like, what the heck? I didn't realize she was in here. Oh my gosh. Okay. We need to we need to figure this out. What is going on here? How did can sniffers climb ladders? Because earlier I was like kind of like hanging her out, making my thumbnail, and I saw the baby sniffer was here, right? Can sniffers climb ladders? Ken Sniffers climb ladders. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna have to get the lead. Do I have a lead on me? I do. Where'd he go? He already ran away. I because he got up here. He got up here and then it was game over. I saw him earlier, so I'm wondering if maybe. Oh wait, is he back down? Oh no, dude. Fella, did you take fall damage? I hope he's okay. Can I feed him? Maybe I can feed him something, you know? Take that. Hey! Little sniffs! What is that? Did I get an advancement because I fed him? Oh, Little Sniffs. We gotta name him Little Sniffs now. Okay, so the reason why I'm over here is because oh, I'm not gonna remember. He's gonna grow up. He's gonna grow up and I'm not gonna remember who he is. Maybe I should like... Is this... Is this the right thing to do? Wait a second, I'm not gonna do this. What if he grows up and then like takes damage to the fencing? I'm not doing this. We'll we'll figure it out. We're naming a sniffer little sniffs today, but we also need to name another sniffer. We can't have any casualties, okay? We can't have any casualties. I'm gonna go to bed and we're gonna make a fishing pole and we're gonna go find some name tags today. That's kind of the mission. We're gonna do some base maintenance and find some name tags because last um last stream we wanted to name the sniffers we couldn't we didn't have anything so we're gonna we're gonna figure that out break the bottom ladder at ground level that's true because then i can uh jump up and i'll be able to do that okay so it's definitely the ladder eh because uh, i saw the sniffer he was hanging out on that little observatory room that i had yeah, little sniff will will oh yeah the leash. We can just use the leash. That's so smart. Okay, we're gonna do that. First, let me let me go see little sniff. We're gonna go pay a visit to little sniff. We're gonna get that guy on a lead, and then we're gonna name some sniffers today. Okay, we're gonna name some sniffers. So in order to name the sniffers, we gotta make a fishing pool, and we're just gonna fish. We're gonna vibe today. Chat. How does that sound? 
Uh, type swag in chat if you if you're down down to vibe. Okay, where is he? Okay, he's right here. So we'll put him on a lead. Little sniff, you're going on a lead. Uh, when I see you next, you might be fully grown. That's okay though. And we're gonna break this. Do you think they could get to this one? I can. I cannot. I cannot either. So I think I'm gonna have to at least do one. Oops. Uh oh, wrong way. If they get pushed a okay, they can get pushed across against the ladder and then they'll climb it. Okay, because I've seen, you know, I've seen cows climb ladders before too. So I'm like, in my last chill survival episode, there was like a cow in the rafters. So like, it can happen, you know, it can happen. All right, we're gonna go make a fishing pole. We're gonna enchant it too. I have 30 levels, so let's go do that. And we're just gonna go hang out, get some name tags, and we're, we're gonna name these sniffers. That's probably the most important task on the list today. And then decoration, we'll vibe after and do that. Rofo homie, how's it going? So nice to see ya. How you doing? All right, that's the plan. Gonna lay back, watch Drift, and crochet. Oh, nice. Sounds fun. Very, very relaxing. Hope you all had a great weekend, by the way. I had a very relaxing weekend. Uh, we had some friends over. Uh, we made a nice dinner. They stayed the night. Uh, we had some breakfast. And just enjoyed the day yesterday. It was really nice outside. Uh, me and Big Tiny Duck were just vibing. Absolutely vibing. All right, we got, oh, we have tons of bookshelves. Oh my gosh. I will put that in decorational for now. Just gonna clean up my inventory a little bit if we're gonna go fishing. So we have space. Space would be a thing that would be very nice. And I need string. I need a little bit of string and sticks. I think that's good. Fishing pole, amazing. Mob loot. And I would like to grab maybe a bed and a boat. I have like a thousand boats somewhere. Where are my hundreds of thousands of boats? Oh, I have a fishing pole right here. Luck of the sea and luck of the sea too. Maybe we can like combine all this stuff, you know? Maybe we can combine all of that. Okay, I don't know where my boats are, even though I have like 500. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Happy Monday watching on my TV. So uh, I'm late to say hello to you all. Alicia, welcome on in. So nice to see you. How you doing? I really want a sniffer, but can't find one. Um, you're gonna have to find sniffer eggs and sniffer eggs can be found in ocean ruins in the warm ocean. You gotta use your like little archeology span ar archeology tool and like, uh, brush all of that suspicious sand. Bazookas, thank you so much for becoming a Drift channel member. Thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. Big, big swags. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. All the hype, all the love. Thank you very, very much. It's very kind. Oh wait, I forgot. I was gonna enchant this thing. Oh my gosh, chat, I'm all over the place. All over the place today. So we're gonna enchant this thing and maybe we'll combine it with all of the other stuff. Watching before I go uh, back to working on a rover for class. Ooh, cool, like, like a robot? That's really cool. Lil Sniff sounds like a rapper name. Maybe he and DJ Drift can put on a show for us. Oh my gosh, Alicia, Alicia, that is, that sounds like a fantastic Monday activity. I love that. I love that. <laughs> uh, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. It's been a while, but I finally bought Minecraft and can now play properly through servers and, su and such. Oh my gosh, heck yeah. Congrats. I hope, uh, hope you're enjoying it. So, so much fun. How do I not have lapis in here, chat? How do I not have lapis? You know what? I probably have so much in my inventory at home, but that's okay. Home is a little hop and a skip away. Mizuko, welcome on in. How you doing? The sheer amount of your content I have consumed in the past two weeks should be illegal. Happy to be a member. Aw, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. Really appreciate it. 
Um, okay, gems. You know what? We do have to upgrade this storage at some point, but it has actually been like not bad at all. I think eventually that's gonna be, I, I think that might be the next episode is a storage hall in this world, but, um, but for now it, it's been pretty good, pretty good. Artemis, welcome on in. Thank you so much for coming into the stream. I really appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. And Rachel, hope you're doing well as, as well. I'm doing great, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm I'm having a really nice morning. The, I think the nice weather is really, really making me super duper happy, you know? Yeah, finding a sniffer can be a bit of a grind. I agree. It can be pretty tricky, especially if you don't have like respiration and stuff on your helmet. You're working on a tote bag right now? Ooh, nice. That's awesome. You're all so like crafty and creative. I love it. The 100 days as a farmer got me hooked. Let's go. So happy uh so happy you found me through that video though. Thank you so much for popping into the stream. All right, let's see what we get. Lord 2 and unbreaking. Unbreaking's great. I feel like I want to put mending on it as well and I can combine all of these together, right? I don't think that's necessarily a bad enchantment i don't think that's bad at all so if i can combine all of these enchantments together can you i think you can right elizabeth welcome on in so happy you two were able to catch a stream so yeah um I mentioned before that the next video is going to be a storage haul. However, that's not going to be coming out this week. I am currently working on the 200 days for the farmland. So that's going to take a little bit of um, a little bit of time. But I'm very, very excited for uh, for that video. I just started it, so I think it should be probably another like week and a half away. Hello. I did not mean to type that i'm panicking i tried typing e he's pushing me all right what should i name this what should i name the name these um hmm hmm huh i'm so bad with names i always panic you know i always panic what should i name this chat we have a naming opportunity. Whenever there's a naming opportunity, I have to I have to consult chat. You know, this is a, this is a group decision. I got hooked on the hundred days farmer vid as well. Heck yeah, so happy! I am so happy you all are vibing to that video because I honestly, there's something so satisfying about making a one hundred days. It's just like you've got like a set time frame and you have to like make a list of things you want to accomplish, check them all off. It's it's a deeply satisfying video structure. I find. We should name the rod Rodney. <laughs> Got it. Got it. It's Rodney. It's Rodney chat. <laughs> That's a good one. I like it. It's simple. It's simple, but effective. I find having one storage building, I spend a lot of time there and less exploring. So I made several more storage buildings across my world and I see more of my world. That's actually a very good idea, especially if you have like an expansive world where you have like multiple locations that you build in. I think that's a very good idea. Also, Sam, please try not to spam uh, spam the chat. I see ya, I see ya, but try not to, uh, try not to spam. This has become a family event Monday evenings. My three kids and myself uh, lo love sitting uh, and watching all Ainsley Hunter and Arabella. We all say hello and thank you for such fun and relaxing content. Aw, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it, and uh, I hope I hope uh, you four are doing doing well and having a relaxing evening. Rodney, Rodney. All right. Just gonna get my bed ready. I'm gonna sleep, and then we're gonna go voyage off. I don't know somewhere. Have I gotten a P.O. box yet? I don't know if I'm going to set one up. I'm not sure. I have to look into it. I've thought about it, but then also, like, I do worry about 
um, I have to look at like the safety of one. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm going to look into that. It would be a very fun thing to have, though. Hi, Drift. New fan. Been binging your content for the last few days. 100 days. Farmer video showed up. Now watching my first stream. Watching on my TV as I do paperwork for my job. So I'm here to vibe. Oh, Candace, thank you so much for popping in. I hope work's going well. Thank you for having me on your TV. That's awesome. You went on a manhunt for the Farmer's Delight mods. I uh, can't see my game without it anymore. It is a mod that feels almost vanilla, right? Like, there's something about it that feels like... It does. That's what I I love mods that feel as though they can exist within vanilla Minecraft. And that's one of them, you know? Really, really appreciate that mod. Same with Chipped. Chipped feel, feels very vanilla, weirdly. And also um, Decorative Blocks. I love that one. Do you have other plans on this beautiful day? Oh my gosh, I really want to go for a walk later. I just, just a simple little walk, you know? I really want to go for a walk. I think that's like about it though. I think we might have to do some groceries later today, but that, that shouldn't take too long. And I think I'd just like, like to get some fresh air. It's so funny. Uh, BTD is home, uh, working from home today and she is just like sitting by the window. She's got the window open. It's so nice. I'm like, oh my gosh. So hopefully the nice thing is she doesn't have to commute home from work. So we can just as soon as we're both done, we can we can go outside and get some fresh air, you know. Watch the 100 uh, day sky block compilation while packing yesterday. Now time for the live. Let's go. Hope uh, hope packing's going well. Hope it's going well. Oh, I forgot to put mending on this. Oh, shoot. OK, um, hmm. maybe I should go do that. Let's catch one more fish. Completely forgot. I got so sidetracked. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second, chat. Where am I even? I really boated out quite far. I think that's... No, that's my house. Definitely. Definitely where I live. You like my videos? Oh, thank you so much, Sam. I appreciate it. All right, let's go over here. I think this is where I live. I don't know. What is this? What is this? Where am I? You know what we need? And it's been suggested suggested a couple times. This is not where I live. <laughs> this is definitely not where I live. Um, it's been suggested before. We need a lighthouse on this base. Okay, if we go, oh, I think we need to go this way. Wait, no. But yes. I think I need to go back this way because I need to go to the coordinates basically as close to zero zero as I, I can get. My bad. I really got turned around, didn't I? Huh. Like, what is this piece of land even? You started your own cozy farm world. It's fun to do using the create mods with it. Ooh, create would be really nice because you can like build a moving windmill and stuff too. That's awesome. So glad you're enjoying that. Honestly, farmland is really fun to make in Minecraft. It is just like so peaceful to be able to like hang out and just like just do like basic things in Minecraft. Oh, here we go. I see a mess. That's mine. As soon as I saw that mangrove mess, I was like, yep, this has got to be me. I was looking for boats and I just have them scattered everywhere. That's hilarious. All right, I'm going to put mending on the fishing rod really quickly and then we're going to go back out. Watched all of uh, Castaways yesterday and the Crocs made me laugh so hard. I'm the Croc queen in my social circle. Oh my gosh, you too. Welcome, welcome to the club. <laughs> okay, except I wear like... I have worn Crocs every single day, like every single day. But recently, I think it's the winter. I can probably wear them again soon. But recently I had to stop wearing them because they were literally giving me like really bad electric shocks. Like I'm not even talking just like a little zap. Like I would 
I would touch something metal and you could see like, like an electric bolt. It was wild chat. And I was like, I don't know if I should wear these anymore. There was one day where like I had, um, okay, I got to get some mending. There was one day where I had like touched something metal and big tiny duck was also like holding onto it. And the electric shock went through that and like shocked her and it was like it hurt really bad and she that was the day where she was like enough and she took all of the crocs in the house and shoved them under the bed and she was like we're not allowed to wear these right now so right now i'm just wearing like basic slippers they're really comfy but <laughs> i've been banned you need the map mod for this world which is what you need okay azzy that's hilarious that you say that because i had actually i had it on and then i was like do i want this on today while i stream and i was like i don't know if i need it i turned it off i turned off the map mod what what's wrong with me why did i do that classic okay let's trade some iron with these dudes first get ourselves some emeralds uh a little bit more and then we should be able to buy mending. I think it is around like 30 something diamonds. Diamonds, oh my gosh. 30 something emeralds. The mending dude is over in the other place. Hate when you can never find your house in Minecraft and you have to start all over again. Okay, yeah, that definitely happened to me. Um. That's happened to me before and is just like the saddest thing in the world. You like adventure too far one day and then you can't find it. I've since then learned with like coordinates and stuff. Like for the most part, like all of my stuff is very much like logged with coordinates, but that has absolutely happened to me before and it sucks. All right, let's get mending. I probably have one in here, don't I? Oh my gosh, I do. Just giving this guy all the emeralds. That's fine though. That's uh, fine. He'll... He probably appreciates them. He's gonna he's gonna go out for wing night tonight. It's wing night at the uh, the local local pub. He's going with this dude over here, so it's fine. You got dragon fruit colored Crocs. Oh my gosh, that's cool. See, that's the thing. Crocs keep they keep coming out with really nice variants. They keep coming out with like all of these cool collaborations. At what point do I have to just say no, enough is enough because I I can't just have like a huge collection of them or can I? Yeah, the Crocs are giving me superpowers. That's actually what's happening. And Big Tiny Duck was, she was just threatened. <laughs> Mangrove wood is so beautiful, but cutting it down is a pain, agreed. I literally, I honestly would build with it more if it wasn't such a pain to collect chat i don't like it i don't like it not btd calling admin priv privileges uh over the croc use literally <laughs> i like how she just was like enough i was like all right you know what fair enough and then she ordered me a pair of slippers immediately <laughs> because i can't like i don't know what it is now chat like i cannot just like walk around my house like just in socks. I can't. I need a little bit of cushion now. Otherwise, I don't feel complete. Uh, can I ask, do you ever cheat at your survival world and do creative su stuff? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Honestly, though, like, if you do do that, I just gotta say, I don't do it because, like, honestly, I find that with the way that I structure videos, I like having those moments where, like, I can kind of, like, not necessarily have to record or like I can like, you know, leave some of like resource collection and stuff to a stream. You know what I mean? Cause at the end of the day, when I'm making a video, it's either like that type of resource collecting, adventuring, it's either gonna go in the video or it's gonna be like something I can do on the side, like by myself and I can listen to a podcast or I can do it on stream with you guys, right? So it, they're tasks basically. It's pretty much tasks for me. But if you choose to do that, I personally don't see anything wrong with that. Cause at the end of the day, a Minecraft world is your world. You do what you want with it, you know? And like, if you're doing, if you're vibing in survival and there's something you really want, like let's say like Prismarine, but you don't want to go into the ocean monument. I mean, if you want to like, 
if you want to unlock that in creative like i don't see anything wrong with that because at the end of the day minecraft's an open world game and you can play it however you want you know you can play that however you want you had food poisoning last week and just been watch a t binge watched a ton of the old live videos learn so much about your soup and cookie preferences we uh think it's funny when something jump scares you first of all elizabeth i'm so sorry you had food poisoning that is very rough and i hope hope you're feeling a lot better now staying hydrated and all that stuff hope you feel better and <laughs> i love that i love that you you know all of my soup preferences and stuff we talk about the most random things on streams don't we i forgot i have to sleep I forgot. I need to sleep. Whoa! What? How did that happen? How was that possible? What the? What the heck? Can I like scaffold? Okay, hear me out. Can I scaffold? Oh, this is not going to reach. This is more than 37 blocks, isn't it? Is this a possibility though? I just need to know. Well, this might work actually. And then I can like prop the bed on this. You know what I mean? Did I say doo-doo? Oh my gosh, chat. I said doo-doo? Oh no. <laughs> Jamie got the Shrek Croc. She owns them. I told her to show you. Don't know if she has. Oh my gosh, that is incredible. I think my cousin got like the Hamburglar ones. Those ones are really funny too. The Shrek ones are like, they are probably, I mean this in the best way, some of the, like one of the ugliest Crocs I've ever seen. <laughs> They're so bad, but like, I love them. I want them. <laughs> Whenever I play Minecraft, I always put on cheats because I'll rage quit otherwise. No, exactly. Like, it's one of those things where it's like, that's the best thing about Minecraft is like, those things are open for people to like, you can turn on like, keep inventory when you die and stuff like that. I have a lot of friends um, where like, it's, it's like my IRL friends. Every once in a while, we open up a server, usually in the winter. When like winter sets in, we usually open up just like a server for all of us to kind of like play on. And I, when I build the server, I usually do like keep inventory on because like they don't play Minecraft all the time and like they're still learning so much stuff. So like, I don't know if that's like, if it makes it easier for them and more enjoyable, why not? Right. You have to get on top of the mangrove tree to de deconstruct it. No, exactly. That's, that's what I found to be the best method uh, for mangrove trees getting uh, chopping them down is just like deconstructing them. Absolutely. What texture pack do you use? So I use complementary shaders, but I really tweak them to look kind of vanilla and I use germs better leaves. All right, let's, oh my gosh, I'm just getting luck of the sea. More like, uh oh, whoops. More like luck of nothing because I've only gotten fish. What is this? Give me treasures. I need treasures. You screamed, whoa, just when, just when I came in, nearly doo-dooed my pants. <laughs> Thanks for welcome on it. I'm sorry I almost made you doo-doo your pants. I'm so sorry. Uh. I just love your videos. Just want to know what you listen to when you play Minecraft. Um, maybe like lo-fi or some type of cozy music. So I usually just, uh, I just have a playlist. Um, honestly, I like kind of, I kind of mostly listen to like indie style music. I usually just put that playlist on or I, um, I often listen to podcasts now because I used to listen to a, a lot of podcasts when I commuted to my old job and it's something that I've missed a lot. So I'll usually catch up on those. Right now I'm listening to the Best Friends uh, podcast with Nicole and Sashir. So funny. That show or that podcast is, it actually makes me like laugh out loud all the time because I, they're just really funny people. I was listening to it at the gym the other day and I was like lifting something. I literally had to pause the podcast because I was actually laughing so hard. It was like, it was too much. <laughs> It's a, it's really good though. Meant building uh, the world in creative and copying in your survival world. So I don't um I don't have like a creative copy of the world like I do, but I don't build in it first. What I usually do is I'll make the build in a creative flat world and then I'll just like rebuild it in 
like the world that I'm working in. Although I do have a creative copy so I can like, um, just like take a look around the space more easily so I can like fly around and get like different perspectives. I don't really use that as much anymore because I have free cam. Uh, but for the most part, every all the builds I do, unless I'm doing something on Twitch and it's just like a freestyle build, most of it's planned in a creative flat world. I find those to be very, very helpful, um, especially if you're just trying to figure out like shape, palette, all of that stuff. It's just nice to have like a place where you can fly around a build and like really hash it out, you know? You have a pair of rainbow f fuzzy Crocs that are my winter shoes because I'm a painter and my feet get cold. That is like, I feel like that's the best thing to have. The fuzzy Crocs in the winter, but then you still get the support. You still get the support on your feet from the Crocs, you know? Oh, we got some rain. What the heck? Still haven't gotten a name tag. Keep inventory is a need for me. Can't enjoy the game otherwise. Nah, I get it. I get it. Honestly. Like, it can be a huge bummer when you lose your stuff. I've had it happen to me plenty of times, and I've been lucky enough to have had it, like, retrieved. It's scary, though. And like knock on wood, I don't even, you know, I'm literally knocking on wood. I'm like, I haven't lost anything in the void yet, I don't think. And I'm really knocking on wood here because eventually we're going to have to go to the end and fight the dragon. So it's a possibility here. Oh my gosh, you have the mini croc gibbet. I want one of those so bad. They're the funniest thing. You know what? First of all, I love miniature things. Second of all, wearing a croc gibbet on your croc is just hilarious. I love it. It's so good. My podcast is Infinite Drift. I love that. Love that. <laughs> you know what? I, I know these streams kind of like... They... I feel like these streams are like a form of like conscious thought it's just like it's just a string of thoughts and us just like bantering so in a sense it like is a podcast but i would also love to have a podcast one day too you know that'd be fun james welcome on in how you doing what are we doing in the live today so we are currently looking for name tags uh i want to name the sniffers that we have because we didn't do that in the last stream and then we're just going to kind of like decorate um, I'd like to make the interior of the library look a little bit nicer because we kind of left it in a sad state. So I definitely like to work on that today as well. Feel like the floating bed there is ruining the fishing vibes. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> Just ignore it. How's that? Is that better? <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> yeah, you know what? Here we go. It's just it's just us and the open ocean now. How's that? How's that? I agree. I agree. I think this is better. Time for me to go to work, guys. It was great hanging. See you all later. Demi, we'll see you later. Thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you have a good day at work. I should get my friend to uh, 3D print a mini croc for my croc gibbet. That is hilarious. <laughs> Could you imagine? Just crocs on crocs on crocs. Do we have librarians in the trading hall? Because I know they can sell name tags as their last trade. We do. We do have them, but we got really unlucky with their trades. Unless maybe the mending dude had some. You know what? I didn't even look. I didn't even look. If we have really bad luck here and don't come across any name tags in the next while, we'll definitely go back and maybe just start trading a bunch. Because I think we tried trading with a couple and they were not giving us anything. But then again, I think we only got to like, I don't even remember, like level three or four with our trades. Something like that. Has the case of the escaping sniffers been solved? It has, except one climbed a ladder today and almost escaped. Little sniff. Lil Sniff almost escaped the baby, and he kind of fell, too. Oh, and thank you so much for the channel membership. Thank you so, so much for joining and becoming a Drift channel member. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. 
big, big swags. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. Big swags, big swags. Y'all got the Sh uh, Shrek gibbets? Oh my gosh, love it. You know, I, it's been a while since I've browsed gibbets online. I, I think I've gotta, I think I've gotta refresh them. It's about time, you know? Like my Crocs are looking too same, same recently. Did the sniffer forgive you for killing its friend? I'm not sure. I'm honestly not too sure and I'm too afraid to ask. Night, welcome on in. How you doing? Just finished the two hour uh, long cozy farm build. Let's go. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for popping into the live. One of them was punished as an example. No, no, I'm not that cruel. I am not that cruel. Come on. Me, little old me. Come on. It's just me, Drift. Really excited I got to catch a live. Uh, found you through the 100 Days Cozy Farm Challenge. Let's go. Welcome on in. Thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate it. Uh, I am currently working on the 200 days right now. So we are just like kind of chilling in the chill survival for our streams uh, while I'm kind of working on that. Very, very excited. I got to day like, oh, hi, Ruth. I got to day 110, I think. So, so we're chugging along nicely. Lots of, it's one of those things where I'm so happy that y'all really liked that video because when we, when I finished it, I felt like we had so much left to do. You know what I mean? There was a lot of things that like didn't get accomplished, not in a bad way. I think it still looked like really good, but there were still like so many things on my list, like the axolotl pond, uh, like librarians and stuff for mending and just like so, so many random things that I wanted to accomplish and now I get to. So it's super fun. Definitely room for opportunity in that farmland for sure. I had surgery on Monday and found you on Tuesday. Been watching your stuff while I recover. Oh, Aaron, I hope your surgery went well. Uh, sending you uh, good vibes and I hope I hope the recovery goes well. How many witnesses were there for the sniffer murder? Listen, I don't think, I think I would call that an accident. That was absolutely an accident. <laughs> it was an accident, okay? Come on. Is this normal to not find a name tag? I swear, like in my other stream world, like when we do like casual fishing, it's just like name tag after name tag. What's going on? I even got like luck of the sea. I've got my bed. What's happening? Babysitting my two sick nephews, but earlier I wanted to say your cozy chill uh, build inspired me to build my woodland fortress because I uh, build that I have in the works. Oh, yo, that's awesome. Heck yeah. If you ever want to share your build progress, uh, we've got like a building channel in the discord. That's so cool, though. Love that. I'm like getting no. Oh, wait, I got a name take. Okay, one, one. We got one. We got one. Okay. We can name Lil Sniff, but I want a second one because I promised you all that you could um you could vote for a name later, so. Currently working on a super tiny and frustrated knitting project, and the chill fishing vibes are so calming and helpful. Oh, we got a second name tag. Oh, just as I read that lovely message. Just as we read the lovely message, and now the now the chill. You know what we need in this chill survival world? It's chill survival. We need chill fishing, you know? Like what the heck? Why don't I why don't I have like a little fishing dock? I'm gonna break this and see if I can get this scaffolding back. I don't know how this is gonna break and float in the water yet. That's just going everywhere. That is a hot mess. Okay. Hopefully it just like floats up to the surface. I can collect it. And then. There we go. Okay, not so bad. Not so bad. Well, which way do I have to go? Wee. This way. But mostly this way, I think. 
Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're good. <laughs> How big of a discount did you get at McDrifts with the coupon you bought, by the way? Listen, Effexor. Uh, off camera? No, I actually, I had to pay them double. I had to pay them double, okay? <laughs> they they acted like they were doing me a solid, but I, I had to, I had to pay for the gas for my airplane. I had to pay for, um... I had to pay double for the burgers. I actually had to like assemble them myself off camera. <laughs> if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, I uh, did a little cameo in Blockdown and Frog Crafting's uh, Create Island. It was such a fun time. It was really funny. But they had, I, th that was also a shock to me. I didn't know that they were like doing a place called like mcdrifts with like all of the signage and stuff when i like when i got on the server i that was the first time i had seen all the signage it was really funny it was great but um i just gotta say that let's just say they're not getting a good yelp review for that because the quality was subpar too rofo you don't get many name tags when you fish is that is it actually like not common Am I just like super duper good at fishing? Is that what you're saying? Oh my gosh. Okay, then where's like. Just need like adventure loot. Do I have that somewhere? I think I do. What the? Didn't Enderman just happen to come in here? I think he did. Relatively new subscriber here just came across one of your videos. Now I'm binge watching them all. I must say watching your videos helps me relax, especially whenever I get panic attacks. Oh, Scoon, thank you so much for uh, sharing that. I really appreciate it. And I'm, I'm glad I'm glad my videos are here are um are here for you when you're having panic attacks and stuff. Honestly, I'm, I'm it just makes me happy that you all like find this content like cozy and you're like it, it helps people. It really makes me uh glad to hear. So I could be in the cold ocean biome near a desert at night during a full moon and in a slime chunk, but on Wednesday and during months that have an R in them. Oh, I see. So I just, I wasn't in the right spot. So I should have been on specifically block number 278, negative 324. And also it's Monday. So, and the sun was also uh like, it was high noon and that's actually typically not very good. So... That's really what it feels like when you fish. Like, honestly, I don't know what it is about this, but it really does feel like that, doesn't it? All right. We can name little sniffs now. I can hear my laptop taking off into orbit just to get at the thought of these shaders. Me and Big Tiny Duck tried using my old laptop to play Minecraft together, and she really wanted shaders, and I was like, of course. Of course. So we set them up, and I was like, how bad could it be? Like, I set up shaders once on here before, like a long time ago before all of the new updates, and we turned them on. Immediately, all the trees were like, just like, the leaves were just like black <laughs> and like just nothing rendered in properly. It was so funny. We were like, oh, never mind. All right, let's uh, get the name tag. Lil Sniff. Lil Sniff and then chat. All right, this is about to get a little bit hairy in chat. It's about to get a little bit hairy. I apologize. Just, just before I, I launch this question, just be known. Just put down one name because I only have like three or four slots for the poll and I kind of just randomly choose. So throw down a name and I'm going to put it into a poll. I mean, no guarantee though, because there's, there's a lot of you here. Throw down a name for our one of our sniffers and I'll put it into a poll. Put it into a poll. Let's see some names. You didn't know about McDrift? That's hilarious. They deserve the bad Yelp review for sure, right? Like the the cashier was like super aggro. The food was like very cold. The the soda machine was out of com commission. It was not great. It was not a great experience. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, there's some good ones. There's some good ones. All right. All right. There's some good ones. I, I, I pulled a couple. These are all great suggestions by the name. By the name, by the way. Um, I am going to launch it now. You have, I don't know, I'll give you all a couple minutes to vote and we'll decide from there. Okay. <laughs> I love watching these goes, these go because immediately it's like, immediately it's like Shrek, Shrek, so funny wait let me let ruth out i think she wants uh i think she wants to leave she wants no part in this poll so All right, I'll let this run for uh, a couple minutes and then we'll... Uh... Then we'll, we'll close the poll. I'm watching, I'm watching closely. Choose the right one, chat. Choose the right one. I don't know what the right one is. I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just trying to sound like ominous, but like there is no right answer, you know? There's no right answer. Garden Ramsey, oh my gosh, I did not see that one. <laughs> That's hilarious. I accidentally picked Justin Sniffer. How is that an accident? That sounds, that's a great name. No take, no take backs. Actually, there might be take backsies in the polls. I think there is. I think you can change your mind in polls. Whoa! Is that is that little sniff? Is that little sniff? It is. He's on the lead, dude. Dude, you you grew a lot. You grew a lot. If you named one just name tag, would it work? Can we just name one name tag? Or does it do nothing? I really want to name one name tag. We might have to go out again. All right. I'm going to name this guy Lil Sniff because, I mean, this one is Lil Sniff. So let's get him his little, little name. All right, Lil Sniff, you are no longer Lil Sniff. You're like Big Sniff, but the name lives on, homie. The name lives on. There's no take backsies on the poll. Oh. Ooh. Ain't, <laughs> ain't so Lil now. No, sir. All right. I'm going to walk back to our anvil. Little sniff. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you soon. And then by the time we get back, hopefully everything's been decided. I'll end the poll. I think it looks like there might be a clear winner. Change the language to pirate. Change the name tag to name tag. Then take the mob, then change the language back. Wait, what does that do? Tag the mob. What does it do? What does it do? Bazooka, we'll see you later. I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Maximum. Maximum sniff. Yeah, he's, he's big ol' sniff now. I wish he, I wish he could stay stay little sniff forever, but it's all right. All right, it looks like the winner of this poll is Snoot. Big GGs to Snoot. All right, coming right up. Snoot. Oh, that is I apparently cannot type today. Yes, Snoot. 
my toddler's eating garlic dip straight from the container, not touching the nuggets, only the sauce. <laughs> that sounds like me. <laughs> the other day, we made potatoes and like we made a yogurt garlic dip to go with it. And I'm not even kidding. Like I the the potato is merely the vehicle for the sauce. You know what I mean? Like I doused the potato and I would kind of like smush the potato. So it was more of like a cup shape. So it would like really get sauced up. It was basically so I could consume garlic sauce. So I really understand that, you know, really understand that. All right, we got this dude. He doesn't have a name. We have a lot of sniffers now. Look at that. The sniffer population is back and it's it's good. It's better than ever. None of these are named. Okay, I'm going to name this dude because he's like. He's like chilling with little sniff, so you you know he's cool, you know? All right, Snoot, welcome. I mean, you've been here all along. We just have suddenly decided to name you, so welcome, my friend. We got Snoot and Lil Sniff. We had another one, but I think that's one of the ones that may have either... <clears throat> oh, wait, no, Snuffles is still here. He's fine. He did not fall. He did not fall. He's totally fine. Snuffles is chilling. All right, well, that's done. I mean, like... That was fun. I need more torch flowers though. I want I want more sniffers. But they're they're not sniffing. I realistically, I mean, I guess if I were to make this like an actual farm, whoa! I'd have to uh literally like put hoppers underneath everything, but that ain't gonna happen. I think this is a pretty this place is bumping again. For a while it was a little bit sad because there was like one or two sniffers left, but they're chilling now. And I really don't think that they can escape anymore. They're enjoying their their ponds, they're bathing in them, you know, like they're, they're just hanging out. This is good. This is good. I like, yeah, Snoot's a good one. GG's to uh, whoever suggested that. I'm sorry I just locked you in. I feel like the sheep kind of likes being there. I feel like the sheep's vibing. There's actually two of them. They're like, they're basically like visitors, you know? They're just hanging. Garlic's good for your health, exactly. I'm just gonna say that the next time I literally drink garlic sauce. It's good for your health. <laughs> it promotes good digestion. Name tag has to be changed to name tag in caps for it to work. No! Oh my gosh, you can name the others Garden Ramsey and Ford F-150. Do I just go into a boat and... F Are we fishing all day, chat? What's the vibe? Are we just like fishing all day? Because I was kind of vibing with fishing, you know? And I wouldn't mind naming a sniffer Ford F-150. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Why is that so good? Uh, do we go back out and fish some more? I mean, like, we have all day. It's only, it's only like, 1 o'clock IRL, you know? Garlic's good for your immune system. Hey, I feel like it's also, wait, no, it's not a probiotic, is it? No, maybe, not sure. I'm glad that garlic's good for you because I love garlic, so let's go. Fishing? All right, let's fish, let's fish. It's actually just like kind of vibing with it. For real though, I'm in like, I'm in an okay spot for fishing, right? Like I don't think I need, is it better in the warm ocean? Because we do have one close by. That's the thing. Maybe we go to like the warm ocean. Yeah, we're fishing so we can name a sniffer Ford F-150. That is the task for today. It's extremely important. Are there any foods that, uh, that you keep trying because you really want to like it because other people make it look so good, but you just don't enjoy the taste. For me, that's sushi. That's understandable. I remember when I didn't like sushi. I'm I'm like a sushi fiend now, but I get why you just like can't get into it. I'm trying to think. There are definitely foods. Oh, man. I don't know. I, I feel like there are. But I just can't think of it right now. But there definitely are some foods I'm just like not super hot on either. I'm trying to think. If it comes to mind, I'll, I'll I'll say it, but.
Make a fishing dock or a fishing platform out in the ocean. Oh, we could make like a jungle fishing hut in the warm ocean or something, you know? I feel like that would be a vibe because the jungle's right here. What if we built like a little jungle, jungle shack, you know? Oh yeah, garlic's like, I don't know if there's like a dish where we don't have garlic in it, you know? As a Canadian, all I hear in the accent is Canadian vibes. Oh, you're absolutely right. I am from Ontario. We could do like a bamboo house. I haven't built with bamboo in so long. Yo. Chat, things are happening. Things are happening today. <laughs> See, this is, this is how we side quest so much. One thing always leads to another. One thing always leads to another in these streams. I'm gonna just like decorate and chill today. Now I'm building a jungle house because I don't know. Honestly, we probably could trade the li with the librarians for name tags, but also this is very fun, you know? That's the thing. I love me a good side quest, you know? Oops, I did not mean to do that. There. Yeah, I've heard turmeric's very good for you. Turmeric is also just like very delicious as well. I like it. Moon! Hope you're doing well. So nice to see ya. Thanks for popping in. So, so nice to see ya. Yeah, we could do like a little like bamboo house or something, you know? It's like along like the little... Just maybe right here, actually. It'd be kind of nice. Get rid of this. Who needs a sand? What's with Canadians in Minecraft? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We just love it. <laughs> I can't seem to get enough. How's the weather in Ontario? It's very sunny in Quebec. The weather in Ontario is amazing right now. It is so nice. Like we had a couple of crappy days over um, over the weekend. It wasn't too nice out. And now it's just like super sunny. There's like a cool breeze, but like there's a little bit of warmth in the air. It's so nice. I really want to go out uh, later because I just like, I don't know, the weather's too nice. I really want to go for a walk or something. Let's get rid of all this. I think that should be okay. We need the village railway thing. Is that the thing where it's like, um, like to like transport the villagers? The one that we were talking about like a while back? We actually do. We definitely do. Cause we are probably, this is not going to be the last time that we're carting villagers around. I think, I think we're going to keep doing that to be honest. Is this a good spot? I think it is. I have like a little house here. We could do like, ah, that was scary. Chat, that was scary. Whoa, so much stuff in my inventory. Pluto, welcome on in. How you doing? You make a really good butter chicken. Ooh, I love butter chicken. So good. It's got cold, dark winters. You can build worlds in those winter months. No, so true. That's a thing. We need, we need like fun tasks <laughs> to keep us from being so bored in the winters. So true. All right, chat, give me one second. I just need to open the window right now because I'm actually boiling. We don't have our AC on yet because it's like that awkward time where it's like it's starting to heat up during the day but not quite so i'm absolutely boiling right now hold on a second
Okay, hopefully that's like a little bit better because I am sweating. Absolutely sweating. <laughs> hopefully you all can't hear like outside and like wind noises and stuff. I think it should be okay. Should be a-okay. Remember that one time you didn't cut down the whole tree and never cut it? Uh, and you, you said you would hang it over your head forever. Listen, um, that, I don't remember because <laughs> um, that's probably happened more than once. I have a feeling that I've done that multiple times. So I'm actually not 100% sure which time you're talking about. Because <laughs> that's just like, <laughs> I'm always like, oh, I hate it when you don't fully cut down trees. And then I, I never fully cut them down. And I'm always like, why is why are all these leaves here? Bruh. Bruh. Oh. <laughs> That's like a classic me move, though. Honestly. Oh my gosh, Moon! What the? Thank you so much for the $4.99 super chat. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, Drift. I would like to redeem a name and animal, please. Peaceful mob of chat's choice named Toyotathon. Please and thank you. Absolutely, Moon. Absolutely. Okay, so we are on... We're. This is perfect because we're making the name tags. We're making this place so we can get name tags. So absolutely. I'm going to try and get a second name tag uh, so we can do that. And chat, when when it comes time, we will choose. We will choose for uh, which animal to name for Moon. Thank you so much again for that super chat. I really, really appreciate it. Super, super kind. <laughs> that's, a, that's a wonderful name. So we've got Ford F-150 and Toy Toyotathon today. I'm, you know, I'm not even going to question it. Not even going to question it. Do you ever bring Ruth on walks? Honestly, I would love to, but uh, we don't have like a proper carrier for her to be in. We always wanted to, but when we were in the city, it was like far too noisy. I would consider it now, um, but we'd have to get a better carrier for her. I think there's still, yep, there's still something in that tree. And also I would love to get a harness for her one day. Actually, no, sorry, we have a harness, but I'd like to get her used to the harness because every time we try to put it on, she like, flops on the ground and like acts as if she like cannot move it is <laughs> it is like so frustrating we're like no ruth please just get used to the harness because she loves when like the windows are open she loves like having like the doors open she wants to go outside but she can't because i don't trust her because she's such a little butt and i'm like if you literally just put this harness on like you can actually just go outside dude like come on and she's like so resistant to it though I think if we get her used to it, like she will, especially once she realizes like, oh, hey, if I wear this, then that means I get to go outside. But as of now, she's just like not having it, you know? It's nice to see people enjoying the spring. Uh, in my country, it's like 32 degrees to uh, 40 most of the year. The rest is just cold rain, no in between, aw. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where it's like, I know a lot of people don't like the winter, but I love it because like I enjoy the change of season. I think because I'm so used to it, maybe it'd be different if I didn't grow up around it because I know how like jarring it can be to have like negative 40 degree weather <laughs> or like negative 30. But at the same time, I'm like, I love it. Good weather is upon us, people. It is upon us. This, all we need is Merry Honda Days to complete the trifecta. What is this? Are we now naming it after, like, car dealership, like, sales? Are these just all sales? Like, car sales? Is, the, is like, a Toyota-thon happening right now? What is going on? <laughs> what is this? Whoa. What is that? Oh, we got a big game. No, I can't. I'll get sidetracked. I'll get sidetracked. We're side questing, but we're not side questing that much, you know? We can only side quest a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Oh, I should probably chop down one more tree. I just... You know, nobody ever told me that jungle trees were actually, like, kind of knotted at the top. I thought they were just, like, 
taiga trees where they just had like one giant stalk and that's it that ain't that ain't the case i don't really chop down these trees that often i never noticed start by having her wear it around the house that's what i'm thinking and then like kind of introduce her to outside and then i think like once we can get it on without like her just like not being happy about it and like she understands that it's like that equates to going outside i think she'll just like deal with it and be happy and excited to put it on honestly my cat does the exact same thing when i put him in a harness like it flops on the, it flops down and like literally is like immobile right it's it's so bizarre How cold is that in Fahrenheit? My um, American brain does not understand. I don't know how cold that is because I'm like, my my Canadian brain cannot comprehend Fahrenheit. I don't understand it, chat. I've tried and I can't understand it. The You know what's weird though? It's like my thermostat is displayed in Fahrenheit and I'm like, cool, got it. 60 Fahrenheit, 61 Fahrenheit for indoor temperature, okay. But then, like, tell me to, like, figure that out for, like, I don't even know what that means in outside temperature. Not a clue. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe we can have one like that. Little dock. You're only, yeah, only allowed to go one layer of side quest. One layer and that's it. Maybe two, depending on how relevant it is, you know? Oops. I'm really just winging this build. Really just winging this. That's the best type of build, though. So we got one, two, three, four... Five, and then we can do like a little post there. Okay. And then we can do like, wah, wahoo. You know what, this window like kind of helped. I can feel a breeze, but I feel like it's doing a lot of heavy lifting right now. Cause I was like definitely sweating. And like, it's just like trying to just get rid of <laughs> just like my body heat and probably like, I'm just like <sighs> talking into a microphone. This, this breeze is doing, doing a lot of heavy lifting right now. You have it at 61. You're living in a fridge. Okay. I don't, I don't have it at 61. I don't, I, I, I was just saying a random number. I did try. Okay. I did try 61 and I was like, that's really cold. But I, I think we keep it, I think we keep our indoor at like 70. That's respectable, right? I think that's respectable. Let's do like one, two, three, four, five. I think 70 is like good, but it also depends on like how cold or like humid it is. Because if it's like a really cold day, 70 doesn't always feel like a lot. My schedule got changed, so normally I would hang for the rest of the stream. Uh, but at least I got to sleep today. Now you have to get ready for work. Oh, no. Hope work goes well for you, though, Moon. Hope it goes well. And I hope it, like, feels like it goes by quickly. Mine does the same thing with anything. It could even just be a collar, and she hates it. She just lays down like she can't move. Yes, exactly. It's so weird. It's just a cat thing, then, eh? I feel like it's just, like, a reaction... To like something they don't like they're like just better guess i better play dead <laughs> it's ridiculous is mario here yeah mario you should have seen it he was so quick he like ran into the room really quickly like my office and then just went woohoo and then like literally he just jumped through a pipe in my bathroom it was wild i didn't want to say anything because it just like it was so sudden and i didn't want to alert you all but yeah It was wild chat. Wait, did I do seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep.
Keep ours at 70 during the day and 60, wait, which is it? 60, 68 at night. Yeah, at night I'm like, I feel like since I'm like in blankies and stuff anyway, that's fine. That's totally fine. My cat doesn't mind a collar, but hates the harness. So Ruth hated a collar before. And then the other day we found the collar we tried to get her to wear and Big Tiny Duck, literally, she just like, she just clipped the collar on Ruth and Ruth didn't even notice. It was the funniest thing in the world. She just like went about her daily life, but I didn't like it because I was like, <laughs> I'm not used to seeing Ruth with a collar. So then I started calling Ruth instead of her name being Ruth. I called her Ruth with a collar for like three days when she had it on. And then eventually I was like, dude, I, I just can't. Like Ruth just looks weird with a collar on her. So I, I we ended up taking it off. But the three days that her name was Ruth with a, with a collar was just magnificent. It was so funny. Every time she walked into the room, I'd go, oh, Ruth with a collar, hi. And she'd look at us like, huh? She genuinely did not notice it was on her though. Like she didn't try to get it off or anything. She was just like, oh, I guess this is my life now. Whereas other times she's just been like such a menace about it. Ruth is just like, she's just very strange. What are we building now? So we're building a little, um, a little jungle house, just a little jungle house here. Um, so we can, so we can fish off this little dock. You know what I'll do? I think what I'm going to do is have like a little balcony here, right? Just a little one. Just a little balcony. One of my mates cat Cosmo um, and he flops down if you look at him. I've never met a cat as lazy as me. Honestly, Ruth does that sometimes too. You just like look at her. She's like, oh, I guess we're doing nothing now. And then she like flops and she'll like She'll be like, <laughs> just like make a weird noise as she flops. She's a weird cat though. Very strange cat. Never met any cat like her, honestly. Uh, what if I did, ooh, hold on a second, hold on. What if I did like, one, two, three. Like that and then we have like a little wraparound balcony okay we're getting somewhere i was not anticipating freestyling a jungle build today it's been a while since i built something remotely in this style kind of a vibe though eh what breed of cat uh is ruth she's a calico she's cheeky i've like seen calicos i've had friends who have had calicos and they have been cheeky as well but i kind of like forgot that's like a thing it is definitely a known trait for calicos though right i've attempted to put a collar on pandora somehow she's managed to get it off so i don't bother with it yeah exactly if they really don't want it on like there's no point <laughs> and they'll they'll find a way too that's a thing they will always find a way Ooh, what if i did some like oak up top that'd be kind of cool them flopping is them showing uh the belly out of trust and love oh ruth um we had our friends over this weekend and they have two cats as well but they're just like very kind and sweet like with cats, Ruth was obsessed. Like she wanted their undivided attention at all times. It was the cutest thing I had ever seen. It was so sweet. They're also just like, yeah, they're just very, very good with like animals and cats and stuff. So it wasn't a surprise, but like, it was just so cute. She was like following them around. She was like sleeping on their hats and stuff. And just like, it was so cute. Need to go, but it was a nice stream. We already passed the one hour mark, so drift and chat. Go drink something, stretch, and take your meds. Oh, Cass, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening, and we'll catch you later. Yeah, everybody, hydrate all that stuff if you need to, for sure.
Okay, how do you make bamboo? Like, the bamboo to build with? I forget. Honestly, forget how to do that. Oh. Oh, it's literally that. Oh. Well, that made me absolutely nothing at all. Can I, like... Okay, I see it. Then I can make planks out of it, which is a little bit more. This is a lot, though. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize. Oh my. Well, at least this sound is very satisfying, honestly. Tortoise shells, also the scrambled eggs of calicos, as I call it, have something called tor tortitude, but it applies to all uh, tricolored cats, which includes calico. A oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, Ruth definitely, like, she's like a little sweetie, but she's also got attitude sometimes. I'm like, girl, what is happening, you know? But that's what I love about her. She has a very um, vibrant personality, I would say. Also, chat, I don't know if you can hear, like, tons of stuff going on outside my window. I apologize if you can. I think it's okay, though. Marie, welcome on in. Fell in love with your videos a few weeks ago. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you popping into the stream. I hope you're having a good day. Yeah, this is... This is very satisfying. Bamboo is one of those things where I'm like, a bamboo farm would be nice, but also it is so ridiculously easy to collect that I'm like, do I need one, you know? Maybe one day if I'm building something really big, like a big project with bamboo, but I don't know. Just don't know, chat. Okay, I'm going to do the planks, but then also, wait, wait, wait. Can you do like those little like green ones as well? Maybe I messed this up. Hold on a second. Because out of the bamboo blocks, can't you have it so you can make, like, a nice gradient or something? I think so. It's been a hot minute since I've built with bamboo. Yeah, that's true. Maybe the, the bamboo, I feel like if I were to, like, work on, like, a substantial build with it, then I, I would be thinking it a little bit differently for sure. Because it does require quite a bit. You're so right. Like, if you're going to do a bamboo, like, mega base or village, you're going to have to have that farm. I take back what I said. You're talking about me, right? Um, if I was... Yeah, when I was talking about, like, loud, s screaming, and just, like, an awful stench coming from downstairs, and I was hoping that chat didn't hear nor smell it. Yeah, that was definitely me talking about you. Hi, big tiny duck. Hi, how, are you on lunch right now? Wait, how do you make... Can't you make, like, green stairs? Or am I, like, am I thinking... Am I not thinking right? I don't remember. Oh, Ayla, 17 years. Oh, I lived a, it lived a good, good life. And I'm sure you were such... Such a good, um, such a good owner and friend to your, uh, your cat. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta drive, drive, t drive by BTD today. Selma never had attitude, just audacity. Now she's just a little old lady. Oh, little old lady. <laughs> just audacity. That is so funny. You know what? I almost feel like Ruth is in the same vein where it's like, she definitely has audacity. That's such a good way to put it. homie how's it going so nice to see ya how you doing you said i had a vibrant personality um did i say that though i'm pretty sure i was talking i was i was definitely talking about myself absolutely absolutely um i don't think i don't know chat was i did i mention btd at all i don't, I don't think so I don't, I don't think so. I can't recall. I can't recall. I think it was definitely. 
Okay, so I, I can't make... I cannot make this, uh... This green roof that I was thinking about. I cannot. I think it was a dream I had. Boo! That's alright. That's alright. Okay, let's... Finish this up. I think what I'm gonna do is oak walls up here, and then I'm gonna do like a jungle wood trim with the bamboo in the middle. We're fully working without spruce today. Look at this. Look at us go. A no spruce build. Can you believe it? Having a lunch break right now. Want to pop in for a bit? How's stream been so far? It's been good. We've been vibing. Um, always love the Monday streams. We started fishing and one thing led to another. Now we are in a jungle biome making a little fishing dock so we can uh, fish some name tags so we can name a sniffer Ford F-150. BTD, did you just yell? I swear I heard you in my mic. Huh? What was that? <laughs> yeah, you can make green stairs. I have no idea. <laughs> Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Stop. Stop giving me false Minecraft tips. <laughs> yeah, sure. You can do that, I think. Oh, God, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. What's happening? <laughs> what Jody said? Stop acting like you know. Stop acting like <laughs> you know what is going on. Chat, stop encouraging BTD. <laughs> we could do a roof with moss blocks. The problem is, though, the problem is actually, you know what we could have done? We could have done instead of like stairs, we could have done like uh, full blocks. I think that's what I was kind of thinking about, but that's OK. That's all right. Went to take a quick shower, expecting to come back to a bamboo house. Now I'm seeing jungle. What happened? Did I say fully bamboo? Did I say full on bamboo? I kind of envisioned it to be like bamboo roof. You know what I mean? Like house out of wood and then bamboo house. How do you say microwave? Did I just say it, say it right? I don't. I hope that's how we say it in Canada. Microwave. The waves of the future. Ultra waves cooking your pizza pockets. <laughs> BTD. I can't even. Can you please, if you have time, come up here. You're more than welcome, BTD, to come up here and demonstrate how you pronounce the way you just spelled microwave in chat. You are more than welcome to do that. Because I've never never seen that microwave microwave looks like it's something you would whisper microwave microwave yeah that's actually how you do how you pronounce it. it's a microwave that's something i fully would have believed as a kid like i would have heard microwave for the first time but like not understood what it meant so i would have been like michael wave that's definitely something i would have done as a kid Pizza pockets are so good. Honestly, pizza pockets are the best. I haven't had one in so long. We still don't have a microwave. Honestly, at this point, we're like, we've gone so long, we might not get one. Because one, why are microwaves so expensive? And two, they take up precious counter space. I just don't know, chat. I just don't know if I'm like about the microwave life, you know? Currently working on some builds for my upcoming Let's Play in the Stream is Perfection. Oh heck yeah! So glad. Hello. What is You made mac and cheese? It's, it's smoky. Is it have to good? Try it on stream. Okay. But it's gonna be like a sensory um a sensory uh, overload? <laughs> experience. Experience say, because they can only hear you. It's like AS. Oh, I see. Okay, so chat. Um we got the we found the Maddie Matheson's mac and cheese at the grocery store. 
Uh, and Big Tiny Duck has brought up some mac and cheese for me to try. It's, what is it? Um, it's the smoky mac and cheese, but I want to preface this with, I, I don't really like it, and it smells a little bit like garbage. Okay, go ahead. That doesn't smell like garbage. It smells like smoked meat. Oh, it's cheese. Hmm. I like it. Huh. You don't like it? Yo, this is fire. Huh. The noodles are chewy. Oh, the noodles are good. The texture is a 10 out of 10. You don't 10. like the taste? It's the smell is different from the taste and it's really freaking me out. Oh, wait. Upon second bite? Yeah. Yeah. See? Why is it sweet? Yes! <laughs> Why is yes! it sweet? It tastes like, like Montreal smoked meat, but there's no meat in there. The texture's so good, though. I know. The chew is perfect. And they fit on the tines of the fork perfectly. They do. Yeah, like a... Like a this is bugle. really something we should have done on Twitch. So, like... No, I like that it's just sound. I don't think my chat likes that sound, though. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what did I come here for? <laughs> oh, uh, say microwave the way you oh. spelled it. <clears throat> microwave. <laughs> Get out of here! Wait, are you throwing this out? You wanna just eat it? You can't just eat it now. You're just- you're just dying. I'm just gonna be, like, standing here in Minecraft, like, silently with just, like, chewing sounds. That's I can't eat I, this. That's what I said! Take you it can't away. Eat it. Take it away. <laughs> oh, I dropped it! Did you drop I it? I dropped a noodle! Oh, no. I dropped a noodle! Everything's okay! It's fine, chat. Bye. Can you leave the door open? I'm dying in here. I'm oh, sweating. she's sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating. Oh my gosh. Yeah, put some hot dogs in it. Holy shit! No, don't say that! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Holy something else! <laughs> Uh-oh. I gotta go. Oh my god. Oh, I'm crying. I'm actually crying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh god. You know what? It's good. It was good. I don't know what she's on about. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bye. See you later. Oh, gosh. I don't know, man. She doesn't like it, but it's like... The mac and cheese has, like... It's sweet. You know what? A balcony's not gonna work here. I just realized. Balcony is no-go. Because there's not enough room. Oh, this, is, this isn't gonna work either. Maybe we just do, like... Hold on. What if I did, like... Oak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> there you go. Ah, that was the most Canadian thing I've witnessed on a live. Literally. Two, two Canadians eating box mac and cheese made by, like, a Canadian chef legend. It can't get more Canadian than that. All, yeah, all, all over a dropped noodle. That, you know what, it would be better with hot dogs. I understand why she doesn't like it, but I think she's fundamentally wrong. You know what I mean? Like... I get it, I respect it, but also she's wrong. It was delicious, chat. It was smoky and like the sweetness, like I can see how that would like, kind of like, you wouldn't be expecting that, but it was good. Maybe if she did add hot dog to it though, cause she was like, it tastes like Montreal smoked meat without meat. So I get how that would throw you off. So just add some hot dogs to it and it's good to go, you know? I would, honestly, I fully would have just eaten the rest of it, but, like, I would have just stood here in Minecraft silence for, like, another three minutes just eating that, and it would have been too awkward. <laughs> At least I got a little snack, though. That was good. That was good, chat. Did it fall on the carpet? It didn't even. It fell on, it fell on, like, a laminate floor. <laughs> it's totally fine. We're just so dramatic. What? Welcome on in. Uh, oh, you just watched the Farmer's Delight about the Farmer's 100 Days? Oh, thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate it. 
hot dog would solve it, right? We have one more box of the smoked, uh, smoky mac. Maybe we buy some hot dogs and we'll just eat it with that. So good, right? Also, BTD leaving the door open solved all my issues. I have a cross breeze. I feel so much better. You saw breakfast ramen noodles? I feel like I could get behind the idea of like a breakfast ramen because like I feel like ramen's very rich and then you also got like the eggs. Like eggs are such an integral part of ramen. I feel like I could get behind that, you know? I see where they're coming from. Where am I? Oh. Yeah, any type, like just, just some cut up hot dogs in there would definitely make it. I think once you add like the meat component, she'll be like, this is fire. Also the noodles were really good. The noodles were like fantastic. They tasted like actually closer to like a premium, like pasta noodle. They're like little, little like circular bits though. They're really cool. And they had like a good chew to them, which most like box mac and cheeses, they don't have that anymore. I find that like, as soon as you cook them, you literally put them in the water. They've already like started disintegrating, you know? There's like very cheap noodles now, but that one, fire, fire. <laughs> Ooh, floor pasta. Mmm, little treat for later. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, the fallen noodle. You know what? Ruth would... She, she wouldn't even eat it, though. I feel like a noodle, she would sniff it and then just, like, lick the cheese off of it and then just leave it there. That's definitely something Ruth would do, for sure. All right, let me get, I'm gonna get like a little sloped roof right here. Wow, what a fun lunchtime treat. The real treat was having BTD on stream, honestly. Always such a treat. <laughs> Ooh, chili mac would be really good. You know what? Or like putting like a, a chili oil on the mac would be delicious as well. That'd be fantastic. Whoa! Okay, I guess I'll build this down here. My cat would eat it, no questions asked. Ruth is like so weird about stuff. She's like obsessed with like sugary things, which she shouldn't be. I think it's like the butter content though. She can like really sense that there's a lot of butter in like sweet sugary treats. But then like a cheesy noodle, she'd be like, forget about it, man. I don't want that. I don't want that, man. Even like canned tuna. If we open canned tuna, she's like nowhere to be found. And then I'm like, if she doesn't want the canned tuna, should I be eating the canned tuna? There's a panda here. <gasps> Hello, Mr. Panda. I'm like, if Ruth doesn't approve of it, the little human dumpster that runs around my house, what's up, what's up with that? What's going on here, you know? These mac noodles remind me of the noodles in that soup. Can you clarify that soup? I know what soup you're talking about, but I also cannot explain it to chat. You know, chat, the, you know when you get like, oh, minestrone, minestrone, minestrone soup. You know when you get minestrone soup and it's like, you get those like little, just those little noodles, just those little guys. They're just like floating around. You know what I'm talking about, right? It's like that, that's the type of noodle. Saw so a build that uh, used scaffolding as windows and I've been meaning to try it. Yo, scaffolding as windows, uh, using that as windows is always such a cool idea. The best part is I've seen um, Mr. Matt Ranger for his storage unit. He has that, but he also has it. So it's a giant window into his storage room so you can like fly through it. It's so cool. Ooh, fresh chilies or like 
you know what chili oil would be really good on mac and cheese i am like i really like dressing up a mac and cheese you know anybody else agree dressing up a mac and cheese like not always sometimes i just want like a plain old box of mac and cheese but sometimes every once in a while i'm like let's let's spice it up a bit There we go. Some cats just don't like fish. You know what's weird? When we got Ruth, um, she hated fish. She like did not like it when she was a kitten, so we had to feed her chicken. And then now it's the opposite where like we give her wet food, but we also have like dry food. So we give her a little bit of wet food at night and she will not eat anything that's chicken based anymore. It's all just cans of fish i don't know why because before it was the opposite we tried giving her like every type like shrimp all of like the different types and she was just like nah and now like i give her chicken she what she does is she'll like suck the juices out of <laughs> out of the bowl and then like leave the dry bits of chicken it's really weird and then we go ruth ruth why'd you do that ruth whoa bamboo Mosaic, I forgot you can make these. That's pretty. Hmm. Interesting. Forgot that was a thing. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't really need it though. That's all right. My friends and I have soup night every Friday when we make a minestrone and we make so much of it and call it the mega strone. Why is that the best thing I've ever heard? That is incredible. And also the best part is you get lots of soup. You can bring it home. You can have leftovers. You could have some with like a nice fresh garlic bread or just, you know what, bread with butter. You don't even need garlic bread for that. You just need a little bit of bread and a, with some like butter on it. Dip that. Good to go. You are good to go. Oops. All right, we're nearly, nearly done. Get that there. Gave myself uh, in Minecraft a life goal of creating a giant tree that is also a tower. Any recommendations for decorating? My main block is stripped birch. Already used 10 stacks of it. Oh my gosh. For trees, I always like it when people do like like a bunch of like hanging, um, like hanging lights off of chains and glow berries. Glow berries are such a great like natural light source. Love when people do stuff like that. It looks so cool. And then like I would get like parrots and stuff so you can so they can like fly around, you know, and just like vibe. Oops, I need some more oak and then we're done. We are done. Why is this stream always making me hungry? I apologize. It is because we do nothing but talk about food all the time. <laughs> like all the time. It always comes up. If we haven't talked about food in a while, it becomes like concerning. It's like, why haven't we yet? You know, I feel like food is the main topic of conversation in this stream always. Um, oh no, first time catching a live stream. Love your videos. I've been binge watching recently. Oh, Marcus, thank you so much for coming in and saying that. I appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. Okay, we need some windows. I'm thinking we could do the scaffolding thing. That always looks really cool. I think it looks good in like, um, like singular windows like this. And then we could do like bamboo ones to complement it.
My fave soup is an Instapot recipe, creamy chicken taco soup with tortilla chips. Oh, for dip and the uh, a little toppings. You know, you gotta see that's that's a good soup. That's a good sounding soup. You gotta have like the little crunchy, you know? A little bit of a little bit of texture. That sounds so good, Red. We like to make um it's like a spicy cabbage soup. I forget what we spice it with. I don't even remember. We didn't make it last year, actually. We were like way off of our soup game this winter. Usually, like, we used to make soups all the time. I think we just like got kind of like busy and stuff. I don't I don't even know. I think we just kind of forgot about soups this winter, which is sad. Cause I love a good soup. We usually do that and like a homemade chicken noodle, which is like one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, no, you know what BTD learned to make? Um, like a cow soy style soup. Oh, it's so good. And then you get like some like bean sprouts if you want, or like some crunchy bits. So, so good. Yum. Here we go with the food talk. All right, we're almost done with our little shack. You know, what? I might do bamboo floor, actually. We can do the mosaic here. I was slacking on the soup game this year. I can't I can't even talk to you all about soup because we just we just did not make much soup. I can't contribute to the conversation. You know? All right, let's fill it in with this. Got a cozy little bamboo floor. Oops. We need more anyway. That's fine. It just got in a uh, hearing about food. I think I found my people. Oh boy. If you like talking about food, you've come to the right place. It is the main topic of conversation here. <laughs> so you, oh my gosh, I'm losing my voice. You will fit right in. Oh my gosh. I'm losing my voice. It's the, it's the mac and cheese BTD gave me. Oh my gosh. You'll fit right in. Whoa! What is this? What? I just found a treasure. What the heck? No way. What? What? Big swags. Big swags in chat. Big swags. That was cool. That was super cool, chat. No soup's good without potatoes. Listen. Like, I think there are good soups without potatoes, but I agree that, like, potato is fantastic in a soup. It's just, like, it adds that texture, you know? You know what else I love that I haven't had in a long time? My dad used to make it all the time. Pea soup. Pea soups are so good. Okay, let's just, like, fill in this little spot here. That was so cool. I can't believe we found that chat. How lucky. Yeah, potatoes underrated. I think so too. So good. You know what? That iron is going to come in handy because I need to make some, uh, I'd like to make some lanterns for this little spot. All right. What do we got? It's actually pretty cute. It just, it literally just needs stuff around it. So we can just do a little bit of a dock. Might keep some of that grass for a little flower bed. Mm, actually, yeah. Do that. Did I pick up the chest? Yes, I did. Perfect. Pea and ham soup with maple syrup. Ooh, just like a little bit to flavor it. That sounds delicious. Yo, 
Honestly, yeah, pea and ham. My dad used to make that exact combo all the time. It was so good. Mmm, delish. You know what's like another popular soup that my dad made, which I just don't think he even makes anymore? It's kind of like old school. Has anybody ever had egg drop soup? Where it's like you dr literally drop eggs in it and it kind of like scrambles the egg. I would say it's like a scrambled egg consistency. That might not sound like very nice to some of you or a lot of you, but trust me on this one. It's pretty good. Then you just, it's usually like paired with just like a chicken broth of some sorts, I think. It's actually pretty nice. Has anybody ever had that before? I don't think I have shears. No! Yeah, pea and uh, ham soup is like surprisingly very easy to make too. Yeah, you all know, you know, egg drop is one of my go-tos. Let's go. And then you just like get some like some of those egg noodles for it too. You make egg drop soup all the time. Oh my gosh, I haven't had it in forever chat. I need to, uh, I need to try it sometime again. I haven't had it in years. It used to be like one of my favorite things that my uh, my dad would cook. You use that method for ramen sometimes. Ooh, interesting. If I do a little flower bed here, you know what? I might just do like roses, no flower bed. No like little closed off flower bed. We need some flowers. You don't like it because of the texture? No, I get that. Exactly. That's why I was kind of like, I don't know if people would be down for this. Because I like the, it, it really is like a texture thing. Okay, I need some flowers. The jungle must have some, surely, right? Ooh, baked potato soup would be really good. That sounds delicious. It's so funny, we're talking about soup when soup season's like kinda over now, you know? I kinda just like, once once spring hits, I'm like, I cannot. There was, I remember there was one summer when we were in our um, old, old apartment. It was like this really old building in Toronto, no AC, it was just, and like we had skylights at the top of like pretty much almost every room had a skylight so heat would just bake into the apartment and it was too high that you like literally could not block them off and i remember that there was one summer our ac could not keep up with the heat it was just like a lost cause and for like weeks we couldn't eat anything like we couldn't cook because i was like if i use the stove top like i will literally just like perish and then also like i just don't want to eat anything warm it'll just warm my body more so i think we survived off of like we kept making like homemade subs with like deli meat and chips that's all we ate and i think we had i remember having like a conversation being like if you told me to eat soup right now i would just like walk out <laughs> uh oh Whee! Soup season's all year for me. Same with chili and beef stew. Those are some of my favorite foods. Ooh, that sounds good. You know, I don't really, I remember like, I wouldn't go out for like ramen as much, but pho we would often have in the summer. I find that's like a very like refreshing soup. Even though it's a hot soup, I think it's just like the ingredients of it are much more like refreshing. And I, I definitely remember we would go out for that in the summer, if anything. But I find like once um once the warm weather hits, I don't really go eat ramen and stuff. I kind of just like kind of avoid for the summer. <clears throat> Ooh, cold soups. You know, I don't think I've ever had a cold soup before.
So when, when I, like in the summer, we definitely move towards eating more like salads, sandwiches for sure. Gotta get those like cold or like neutral temperature dishes. Yeah, like there's like a classic chip and sandwich, you know, <laughs> just like them good old days. Yeah, pho is uh, Vietnamese, I think. It's so good. I love it. I haven't had it in a hot minute, though. I actually think, you know what, now that I think about it, I think the last time I had it was in the summer with my friend. <laughs> it was a hot day and we decided to go out for that. That's so funny. I might go... Okay, I know I was like, I can't side quest into the caves, but I do want some, like, coal and some other stuff. If I find... I saw iron on the island over there, but if I find some more iron, that would be nice. Ow. Ah! What? What did I do to deserve this? Get out of here. Ow. Ooh, we can pick some of this up. And make like a barrel of fish. Um, I just look away. Just look away. I'm never gonna bring this guy home. Sorry. Sorry, chat. What are you craving right now? Honestly, a freezy. Like a freeze pop. I I bought some the other day. BTD allowed it, thank God. <laughs> Sometimes I'm banned from buying freezies because like I'll eat just like certain flavors and then we'll be stuck with the rest and like totally understandable. That's like really annoying. But she allowed me to buy a big box and I have been consuming an ungodly amount of freezies. There's a lush cave down here. What? Oh, this changes everything. No, I can't get I can't get sidetracked. Can't get sidetracked. But I've been eating so many of those. I don't think they're that common in some countries. They're a very Canadian thing, I think. Like just like the plastic tubes of literal sugar water. They're so good though. I love them. I'm kind of craving that because I'm a little bit warm. I'll probably have one after stream. <laughs> I'm gonna go up. Puppies. I look away for one minute and drift is caving. What? No, you saw nothing, huh? <laughs> yeah, I totally am. Oh no, my shovel. Ah, I'm floating down. I have no choice but to go back into the caves. They call me. I just needed a couple things. Just a couple things. I just need to inspect. What flavor of freezy? Listen, I'm all about the watermelon. Oh boy, oh boy. You tricky guy. You tricky guy. You're trying to ruin my build. You're trying to Oh no, there's a witch. Oh god. Oh, I need to. I need to actually use the house we built. I'm just gonna ignore this. Can they open doors? Is she smart enough to open a door? She's not, but there's monsters nearby, so I cannot sleep. Fair enough. Dude, you just like poisoned yourself. Come on. Come on. Ow. Oh yeah, you can't. Oh God, okay. Just gonna stand here. Stand here. This whole stream is a sidetrack, literally. Literally. What were we even supposed to do today? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, we we're supposed to name a sniffer Ford F-150. Guys, we have a lot of work to do if we want to get that done. <laughs> otter pops. Yes, I think somebody mentioned otter pops in one of our last streams. In the US, we have those here and they're so good. They're the best. They're just like, I don't know. If I want like a cold treat, I just don't always want ice cream. You know what I mean? I just want something like a little bit more refreshing. I feel like ice cream like dehydrates me. Ooh, Chinese hot and sour soup. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, see, this is what our streams are always about. We get sidetracked on our side quest that was for another side quest and another side quest. And then suddenly we just have 42 side quests and I don't know how we got here. This is such a constant chat. 
and I wouldn't change it for the world. I love it. Okay. I'm almost done though. So we will start fishing soon. I did want to like, at most just decorate the outside a little bit, like get a couple lanterns. So we just need this. We can get a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Where's my torches? They are in my offhand. Fair enough. Couple lanterns, you know, just just a couple lanterns. They come in the fishnet packaging. Uh, those are literally my childhood frozen treats, unless they're two completely different things, the same name in the US and Canada. We don't have otter pop pops here, but I do know that fishnet packaging you're talking about. Cause we do have some like sweet treats that come in that as well. I think I wouldn't have nearly the number of builds if it wasn't for me having an idea of mid build for something else and then running off to go do it before finishing the one I was in the middle of building. Same. That is literally like our the um the survival world that I have, the long term one that we do on Twitch. That is like just how that world operates. We have like 12 projects going at once, but it's nice because you have variety then, you know, you got yourself some variety. It's all good. It's a good thing. Trust me. Just have an opening there, and then we can just get like a couple leaves here and there. Just fill this out a tiny bit. Do you use any Optifine for sodium? Um. So I use Optifine I don't use anymore. Sodium is like uh, like kind of like a comparison to Optifine, if that makes sense. Like that would be like an alternative thing to use. So I use Sodium and Iris now, just cause I found that the performance, it actually like is better for my computer. Optifine definitely does have its benefits though, for sure. Do, 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 do. Oh, I need more sticks. I need some sticks. I don't like shields. <laughs> I always forget that I have shields and then I'm like, well, that was a waste. <laughs> yeah, shields are like, one of those things where like I actually genuinely used to use them a lot more, I think. And now I just kind of I definitely just run and gun. <laughs> I always forget, like if I make one and then I bring one with the intention of using it, I always end up forgetting it and then it becomes like an inventory slot. You know what I mean? Like something that just takes up space in the inventory. I was at Disneyland recently and had the most refreshing frozen lemonade drink with a shot of cherry syrup. Ooh, that sounds good. Was it like a slushy kind of, or was it just like, um, just like a really icy cold drink? I also love slushies. That was always my go-to um, treat when I was a kid. Go to the convenience store, get a slushy. Oh my gosh, so good. Two hours in, ooh, we should probably take a quick little break, actually, that would be good. Let me finish putting up some of this stuff and then I'll, we'll go for a quick little break chat. Actually, maybe I can just, ah, oh, there we go. Heck yeah. No shield, no problem. I think that's fine, have it. Just like a super tall chimney. This build is very bare bones in a way, but I kind of like it. We could decorate this for hours, but I also want to fish, you know? I just want to fish. 
Is that too much to ask? Do you have a specific type of build you like to make? Ooh. Honestly, I feel like I always just lean towards like the very like cottage core style builds for sure. That just kind of, that does seem like the vibe that I always kind of end up with. As long as it's like cute and cozy. Actually, yes, let's do that. Mm, break this. Let's get like... Bucket o fish here and get like any barrels. I said I was gonna go fish and go for a break, but let me just finish a couple more things. Hold on a second. Hold on. Boom. Just had dinner, but now I feel like frying some hot dogs with spicy sauce. So do you like eat the hot dogs with like the sauce? How does that work? This sounds delicious. I'm intrigued. I've never had hot dogs with like spicy sauce. I love a good, good old classic hot dog, you know? Oh, it was like a slushy texture. Oh yeah, that would be my vibe, totally. I love slushies so much. Why are they so good? All right, I think this is cute. Let's see. Nice and simple, you know? Not too overstated. I could go ham and detail this all day, but we've got ourselves a little cozy fishing shack so we can just like fish for our name tags and vibe out. We should definitely take like a quick little break. Um, I need to get some more water and stuff. And then we'll we'll fish and get our name tags and, and just keep vibing. We've got we've got a little bit more uh, stream time left anyway, so we're not done yet. You gotta head out to your real job. See y'all later. Remember to behave, chat, behave, behave. All right, Moon, we'll catch you later. Thank you so much for hanging out. All right, chat, let's take a quick little break and I will be back in a short moment. All right, BRBs.
Hello. I'm back. Better than ever. How's everybody doing? How y'all doing? Ooh, a cute palm tree to the sandy side would make it cozy. Oh, it totally would. Oh my gosh, how do you make a palm tree? How do you make a palm tree? Let's try it. Palm tree would be pretty easy, wouldn't it? Could do jungle logs. So something like... Hold on a second. Ow. Need some dirt. put it like right here now this is the tricky part got like this how many leaves do I put out here you know what's the vibe on that I'm so bad at custom trees they actually like low-key stress me out because I'm so bad at them Dog day, welcome on in. How you doing? Okay. I feel like if I connected them like this, it'd look a little bit better. Just want to say that I love your building so much. You inspire me every day on my own builds in Minecraft. Oh, and thank you so much for saying that. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Yeah, I think jungle leaves would look good with this for sure. I'm so bad at custom trees. It's something that I need to learn, and I know I do, but every time I try, it's just like, it's not happening, you know? That's like the one thing that like, I have a lot of trouble figuring out is, a, is like any type of custom tree. Let's see. We could try jungle leaves i think because we don't have azalea uh, problem is i don't think we have an azalea actually we might because there's a forest around us or sorry a lush cave underneath us the problem is finding the azalea tree because I don't have any bone meal right now either don't know if I saw one though whoa uh oh uh oh I have fallen yeah probably honestly probably just grab these he's all good Can't remember which Minecraft uh, YouTuber I watched, but they said they did one custom tree per day as practice. That's a good idea. Maybe that's what I need to do is like literally, even if it turns out not great, just do a tree a day and I'll figure it out, you know? So my first time uh, getting to catch a live stream, found your channel recently and love your video so much. Oh, Nature, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thanks for coming into the stream. Hope you're having a great day. Okay, I think I've got like the shape okay with this. Now it's just figuring out like how to canopy the trees. What does a palm tree look like? I need to like look up an actual photo. Hold on a second. It's funny, we had them in castaways, but now I forget. Also, I'm like, is this too high? I don't think so, actually. That's perfect. I'm surprised that Minecraft doesn't have its own palm trees. Me too, actually. You know what? I feel like if they ever redid like one of the like the like the desert biome, that's when it would like actually that's when it would actually happen. Okay, it needs to look like a canopy. 
So I feel like it's got to be like one layer, if this makes sense, like one layer of, um, of leaves with like maybe one or two leaves, like kind of like above and below it at most and like sprinkled throughout. The problem is also like building um, custom trees, building them in cre not creative, so hard. Cause you can't see that well, right? At least we got free cam though. I'm gonna build out the canopy first. I might have to get rid of some of these leaves too. And then I can like bring some in. Please, please, please. You know what? That's actually not the worst I've ever done. It's not great. The oak leaves are very bushy though. I don't know. I think we need to have some drooping down for it to be more palm like, right? And like less, less of a huge, this looks more like a savanna. I think they need to be more stocky. If that makes sense. Like more sparse. Maybe have like, ah! <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Okay, I, I know what I'm doing now. I think I know what I'm doing. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta droop the leaves for sure. And then we gotta, we have to get rid of more. I think that's what's kind of like not doing it any favors. Palm trees IRL are so tall. It blew my mind IRL when I first saw one. Me too. I saw one when I went to LA for the very first time and I was like actually shocked by it as well. Never seen anything like that in my life and I was like, whoa, what? It's very interesting. They're very beautiful though. Oh my gosh, Ian, what? Ian, thank you so much for the 10 Super chat, thank you so much. Hey, Drift, sending you this for the endless fun, coziness, and great times you provide us every single stream. Thank you, Aunt Ian. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. That's very, very kind of you. And thank you, thank you so much. And you know what? Thank you for providing me with the best toot jokes around. <laughs> I hope you're doing well, bud. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, we need more like defined singular leaves for sure. This is hard. <laughs> Trees in Minecraft are always the thing that makes me just want to cry. Cause I just don't know. I think if I think I'm on the right track, I don't know. Something like that. That doesn't make sense, does it? I don't know. Quit over thinking it drift. Keep breaking all the leaves that I need. Think I have more in here? I don't remember. I can just shear more. Yeah. Okay, I am getting there. It's not perfect. Okay, the back ones look bad though. What's going on there? They're like drooping down way too far. I think it's gotta be like one block max. Something like that. This is a process. Buckle up, cause this is a process. I was inspired by BTD. I made myself mac and cheese for lunch. Let's go. What kind? Box mac and cheese? Which kind do you got? Which kind? You know, BTD didn't finish that box mac and cheese. While I was taking a break, I totally ate the rest. It was like kind of cold, <laughs> but it was delicious. So, <laughs> oopsies. Yeah, I feel like wool would really help me in this situation. I feel like this is a situation also where I need um, 
like creative mode. You know what I mean? But I think for like a first time try, this is actually not terrible. Very sparse looking. LA's where you saw your first palm tree as well. Let's go. Yeah, it was wild to see that. It's just something that you don't definitely do not see every day in uh in Canada, that's for sure. For sure. You know what? That's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible either. It looks like it's kind of wearing a toupee, but like I tried my best, you know? I was out here trying. It's not that good. What am I doing wrong here? What am I doing wrong here? You know what? I think it's just like they need to go on like a like a, a diagonal or something. I don't know. Hold on. I think I did the thing where it's like I had too many leaves, you know? I did the thing. Ooh, Annie's uh, mac and cheese white cheddar. The best. The best. I honestly, that one and the classic one is like a go to. That one's like a staple in our household. That's what I call lazy dinner night for us. Huh? What are you doing out here, dude? We're like in the middle of nowhere and you're bugging me? What the heck? Why you all gotta do this to me, huh? I'm just vibing. I'm trying to build a tree. Oh, come on. Can I, like, fish them? Oh! What? Let's see. Ow! Trying to, like... Get them to take fall damage. I don't think I'm good at, good enough at this, though. Ow! Come on. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just being a menace. But so are they, so... Ow! I think they're just hitting each other, though. Think the tree is looking uh, good? Thank you! I think it's honestly not the worst one I've made. It's not the worst. Okay, I should probably just... Ow. Bad omen, here I come. It's okay, I'll just go to bed. And I'll get milk another day. We're just gonna live with that for now. Just don't let me forget that I have that. <laughs> it looks like a Picasso of trees. No, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, he put arrows in my tree. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we should have gone higher up to fish them next time. This ain't great. This ain't great, chat. I also think the leaves aren't doing it any service. Like, I know I'm like, I can't put all of the blame on like the bushy texture, but like, you know what? It looks a little bit like a droopy little toupee. That's okay. It's, it's, it's our tree, chat. We tried. We tried. That's all that matters. You know what, though? This in this space actually does make it look a lot better. Even though, like, if you look at it from here, you're like, ah, oh, yes, a nice tree. Just don't don't look up at it. OK, don't look up at it. That's that's not bad, though. And it, I think this does make the space look a little bit nicer, too. You know? I'm being optimistic here. Being a little optimistic. Yeah, why fish for name tags when you can just fish for pillagers? So much more fun. All right, well, now that we have our spot, our spot with our wonky little palm tree, we've got a cozy little house with nothing in it. Shh, it's fine. Why don't, why don't we fish a bit? Why don't we get our name tags? Let's do it. 
Managed to catch your live stream for the first time. I live in the UK, so there's a slight time difference. Love your videos, and I learned a lot from you about building. Oh, Isabella, thank you so much for coming into the stream, and I'm so glad. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. I know those uh, time zones. Pesky time zones, honestly. It almost looks like them, yeah. I, I, okay, this is my this is my goal this year, chat. Get better at building custom trees. This is something that I literally have not been able to conquer for like three years. I just can't do it. So I think I think we got to add that to like goals for this year. Learn how to build a good tree. Learn how to build a good tree. Yeah, it's a little disheveled. It, it got caught in the middle of battle, okay? Yeah, it's, it's it's cute. Just just don't just don't look at the don't look at the tree too long. I feel so bad putting that suggestion up about palm. No way, no way. Don't even feel bad because it actually like in terms of how this looks, it actually looks significantly better having a tree there. And I learned something. Don't even feel bad. Yeah, we need Toyotathon and we need um. Ford F-150. So wait, what are we going to name Toyotathon, chat? Because that's chat's choice. I don't know what we name Toyotathon. Do I have a lead with me? I might have one in my chest, actually. Let's see. I do. So we could potentially get a panda and leave Toyotathon here. I feel like that would be funny. Nothing more heartbreaking than playing peaceful in the cherry grove than finding the deep dark under your home. Unfortunately, the worst part is cherry biomes. I think they like often because they're on peaks like mountain peaks, they will have a deep dark underneath them like 99% of the time. The juxtaposition is pretty, pretty awful, right? <laughs> You've been experimenting with uh, custom trees and it's been really fun. Oh, okay, that makes me feel better. Honestly, it makes me feel better. Cause like I've, I, it's been a constant struggle. The only one I can really do successfully are those like trees made out of spruce, um, spruce fencing, where you just do like a couple of leaves attached to a spruce fence. That's the only one I can do. I'm sure you can master the trees. Aw, oh, thank you, Ian. I think I think with enough practice, we can do it. Totally. I have faith. I think it's just kind of understanding it and also like understanding how each tree actually like looks IRL. That's a huge thing. Yeah, we got to do Panda, I think, for Toyotathon. Definitely. He, yeah, he can he can run the fishing hut for sure. Fishing Panda Toyotathon, absolutely. Can pandas open doors? Nah, I don't think so. So if we put him in there, he'll he'll be fine, right? I realized I did not bring an anvil with me though, so we'll have to go home, name him, and then come back. But that's okay. Don't forget milk. Perfect. So we can. We have a couple things to do. We have a list of things we need to do when we get home. I wonder if I like swim out to that part of the uh the ocean that'll get better drops do you get better drops in like the warm ocean or no is that just like a thing that i think <laughs> am i finding diamonds yes am i finding horrors beyond my comprehension in the deep dark also yes why is the deep dark low-key really fun though like it's terrifying but it's also so fun i think we've raided like at least four ancient cities in uh our long-term stream world because we can't find that one armor trim we keep looking we keep finding the one i forget what it what it's called but we can't find the specific warden one <clears throat> it's been really tough to find Have you considered doing a hardcore series? I find them really entertaining, but also incredibly stressful. I get the stress sweats every time I watch hardcore. Honestly, you never know what could happen. That's a thing. Hardcore 
usually the reason why people die in hardcore is never what you think and it's definitely from like it's just from like kind of going into autopilot and then forgetting about like the silliest thing like it's usually like creepers or like fall damage or something i would like to do hardcore someday for sure the only time i've ever done hardcore is in um one shot smp so i think having like a hardcore series would be a fun challenge i think after chill survival that might be like the move you know because it's it's something that i've never challenged myself to to do on my own and i think it's a lot different having like a hardcore world versus like being on a hardcore smp Yeah, so the panda is going to be named Toyotathon because Moon uh, requested <laughs> name that animal um, a while back. And of course, I had to had to honor it. So classic, classic Moon. James, welcome on in. Hope you're having a good one. Better fishing at night and or well raining like fishing IRL. Really? Maybe what we'll do is we will uh we'll fish through the night then. I think what I want to do before we uh do anything else is I want to get like a little dock. Proper dock so I can like bring my boat out a little bit too. that works then I can actually like swim out properly and then come back and that's nice because then the mobs over there will not bother me okay that's cute the tree um isn't perfect but look at that that's that's cozy right imagine swimming up and seeing that little fishing hut that's cute got a nice little spot I like it It's more often than not just a creeper while mining. No, exactly. That's a thing. Exactly. It just always and it always catches the person off guard. It's wild. Or like, honestly, I feel like if I were to have a hardcore series, it would definitely be me flying into something. Although I haven't done that in a while in my stream world. I used to fly into things and die all the time in this game. Haven't so much lately. I recently downloaded Minecraft because of you and I'm having so much fun. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. I'm so glad you're enjoying it too. That's awesome. Well, enjoy your first time playing Minecraft, honestly. that I, re I still remember the first time I played Minecraft because it was such like a fun experience and it was like so different than any game I had other pl ever played. So much fun. Oh, there's a wandering trader. Great. So nice. <laughs> like, bro, go away. I swear they spawn more because I don't like them. A dock with the uh, slip, the middle of the dock where the boat goes. Oh, so like have um like planks on the other side too then. Or sorry, slabs. I just learned parrots mimic the sounds of hostile mobs, which I think is fairly cool, but it can scare you a bit because they make sounds at random times. Okay, I learned that. I forget when I learned it, but I remember I when I first heard like a creeper mimicking like I think it was like a or a parrot mimicking a creeper noise. I was like, why is it doing that? It's so cruel. Like, is it playing a sick joke on me? And then somebody was like, no, they're literally warning you. There's a creeper uh, right by you. And I was like, Oh, <laughs> I was, was like, I thought they were just being cheeky. Uh oh, oh, just gonna swim away from that. Avoid that problem. Yeah, we came all this way for a name tag. Hey, it looks pretty good though, eh? <laughs> it really worked out. Jody, that is such a such a beautiful way to put it. 
<laughs> probably not long. Probably when I have to go to sleep, honestly. I don't even think I've gotten a name tag yet. No, I haven't. You know, I'm just going to toss that. Probably shouldn't be littering in the actual ocean, but like, here we are, you know? Had to get rid of it. Clogging up space in my inventory. First time playing Minecraft was 10 years ago and it was on Pocket Edition in like a super flat world where I built the most funny looking roller coaster. Good times. Honestly, the era, like, it's so interesting to like think about like your builds and stuff back then, especially when like there weren't even half the blocks at our disposal now. It's like, it's so vastly different how we all build. It's cool. Kamara, welcome on in. How you doing? Oops, I think I missed that one. Did you have any less common pets as a kid? My family had parakeets. My grandma got me one and I named it Emerald and accidentally let it outside a few months later. Oh no, I'm sorry. Um, we had, yeah, my, my mom was like kind of afraid of animals. The weird thing is though, she allowed us to have a bird of all things, which is like kind of weird to me. Cause like birds, like they don't scare me, but like, I don't know. I'm, I feel like you can't predict them as well as like maybe a dog or a cat, if that makes sense. So we had budgies. Those were like really popular in the nineties though. Um, we had budgies growing up and then we also had fish, which was like a huge thing as well. But the birds were really cool. And like, we, like, um, we had two of them and they were like very bonded with one another. It was like very sweet. They were really nice. And like, honestly, I actually really liked the sound of like having birds in your house. I don't know. There was something about it that was like really nice, but that was definitely a very common thing in the 90s, I think. Guess who just got a milkshake? What? What kind? Oh, sounds good. Yeah, just row away, you know, a couple blocks and avoid life's problems. And if he comes bother me, I'll just move again, you know? Just move again. It's all good. Faith, welcome on in. How you doing? Yeah, it's crazy how much the game has like developed since like old school Minecraft. Yet it still feels very Minecraft. It never lost its touch, I don't think. It's one of those things where I feel like if I if I left the game for like five or six years and then I came back. I wouldn't be like, whoa, this doesn't look like Minecraft anymore. I'd be like, oh, wow, look, like, look at all this, like, cool stuff. Could you ever make a tutorial where you show us your complimentary shader set settings? I get asked that a lot, and honestly, I very much should. I'm sorry that I have not. Honestly, the best thing that you do, though, in the meantime, is turn off bloom, turn up vibrancy, um, get a little bit of sharpness going and, um, turn on, like if you, unless you like the water, I think the thing that makes a big difference is the water as well. I keep it vanilla instead of like modded and it's definitely all about that vibrancy, making sure like the colors are like juiced, you know? I don't think I've gotten a single name tag. I had more luck uh, in the other area. I'm going to swim over. Probably won't make a difference, but like, I wonder if it's like if we go to deep ocean will be a little bit better. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is not good. Chat, chat. My fishing rod. Where's Rodney? 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 Oh no, Rodney. Rodney. Oh no, chat. Where's Rodney? Oh no. No! Don't touch Rodney! We got it. We're fine. 
fine. Oh. Oh. Okay. okay I'm going to go... The house is over there. I'm going to go this... Oh, deep ocean. Deep ocean. I'm going to try deep ocean. See if it makes a difference, you know? Bruce, welcome on in. How you doing? Hope your dinner's going well. Played the game immediately after uh, getting it and stayed up until two in the morning. So fun. I remember I bought it um, because my friend told me to and was like, we can uh, have like a server together. And I was like, I honestly don't even know what that means. And I remember she used to like keep her computer on like 24 seven to, to run like a port so we could play together. Oh no, oh no. And um, we built a world together. I was just building like cute and cozy houses and Redstone was like very elementary, I would say. I remember she built like rail systems to like different biomes. There was like basic enchanting, but there wasn't much. I remember just trying to make cute and cozy houses and getting so scared at night because zombies would come to my door and I was like, <laughs> so fun. F3B, I always forget to do that. Always forget. It's so handy too. We found stuff for uh, because of that. The fishing house looks so cute in the dark and it's so bright, right? I'm actually so happy with how it turned out. Especially at night. I miss my family's birds. I've tried to convince my husband, but he's happy with just a dog right now. <laughs> fair, that's fair. Maybe one day. Yeah, I, I really liked having uh, birds growing up for sure. What are the odds of getting the name tag? I don't know because we ended up getting two. Am I just like, was I just incredibly lucky and we're going to be here forever, chat? Like, should I really be going? Should I be going home and just trading with my villagers? Is this... Is this just a lost cause? I've moved my button to the O key because of this. Honestly, I feel like I should rebind mine because I'm constantly tossing stuff and I'm just terrified that one day I'm going to toss something either into lava or into the void. Zombies used to be able to break doors. Can they still break doors in hard mode? I feel like they can. I feel like I remember AFKing once at like a farm that I had in a mine shaft and then like a zombie busted through and killed me. All right, maybe maybe we'll give up the way of the fishing life. I'm just trying to channel my inner block down and it's just maybe it's just not for me. I was really hoping as soon as I pulled that fish up, it would be like a name tag instead, but it wasn't. So we're going to have to. So what we're going to have to do. Oh, my gosh, that looks so good. Look at that. That is so cozy. Wow. OK. Haven't seen one drown since you've been fishing. OK, to be fair, none of them bothered me for some reason, but they were absolutely there when I was looking for Rodney. They were definitely there. All right, chat. I'm going <clears> to <throat> admit defeat. We're going to go trade, but then we need to come back here for our panda anyway. Um, Do I have the lead? Yeah, I've got a lead. All right, let's go home quick. Oh, 07 for the pickaxe from castaways being thrown to lava. I think it was a shovel, but oh, 07 because that was so bad. That was the funniest thing on stream. I was just trying to like play a joke and then I just played the joke on myself. I completely just tossed a diamond shovel into a incinerator. Do you still watch Gilmore Girls? I we watched. I don't think we finished the series this year but we always watch it starting every fall we didn't end up finishing the whole entire series i thought i think we got to season three but i've seen that show so many times oh my gosh i couldn't even tell you that is just like that's that's an every year rewatch for me
less than five percent chance for name tags uh while fishing oh my gosh i got really lucky then because i pulled two like within a matter of minutes love how the fishing has turned out the tree is super cool as well i really enjoy how it turned out it's very it's very cozy i think i think we did a good job chat what is this what is this What is this? You know, I think I probably... I feel like there'd be sus gravel here. Oh, cool. Uh, doesn't really seem to be anything else. I was wondering if there'd be gravel around here, but I feel like this is something I may have seen when I was... I don't know. Oh! Eh, don't really need that. I just feel like I've come across that before. Me, no, no. Oh, yes, the sh Shovel Destroyer 9000. That was just so... <laughs> so embarrassing. But in the best way possible. It was so funny. Yeah, it's a shame that the house, there was just, like, some guy who was just hanging around. I hadn't installed my, uh, my doorbell cam yet, so, like, if I had known he was gonna arrive, I would have just, like, pretended I wasn't home. But I had no choice, it was too late, he already saw me, so I just decided to leave, you know? Just decided to leave. All right, where are we, where are we going now? Let's, I guess maybe what we should do is try to name tag through our villagers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop some of this stuff off. Josh, welcome on in. I hope you're having a great day. So let's drop some of this stuff off. I need saplings. Plants, do I have plants? Uh, I've got flowers, I'm gonna put them in here. Okay. Uh, books, enchanting, perfect. And then, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I need to go check up on the villagers, that's what it is. Oh yeah, we need milk, thank you. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? Would have been horrible. All right, let's go get some milk too. I don't think I have a bucket, but we need iron anyway. We'll go to the iron farm. Will that trigger a raid if we go over there? I don't think so. Mm. I think I should be better safe than sorry. We can kind of like cut around to the barn. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the iron from here because I always have a bunch. <laughs> I probably have like 42 buckets somewhere, but who knows, you know? Let's drink milk. Chug. Milk is a, always a hot topic debate on stream in IRL. Me and my friends debate milk all the time. <laughs> it's, it is a very like, it's a very debatable subject. <laughs> Finally able to catch a stream from Drift. Only been watching you a few weeks, but your long plays have helped me rest so well throughout the night. Oh, Callie, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching the long plays and coming to stream. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh my gosh, I didn't want that much milk. That was enough. Ugh. One's enough. All right. Oh yeah, the cow's still up there. What did I name him again? Mr. Tall Guy or something, which makes no sense. Yeah, they call me Mr. Tall Guy. Look at him. How did he even get up there? How did that happen? That's a that's a tall climb, you know? That's why he's Mr. Tall Guy. The icon with the red eyes was um, Bad Omen. So you get that from killing one of the pillagers with uh, the banner, and that's what triggers a raid. So if you go into a village with that, it will uh, trigger the raid, and then if you don't want that, you could be in a world of trouble. Oh, we need more iron to trade with these dudes for more emeralds.
All right, let's grab some iron. I feel like eventually, I'm gonna have to clean that out after. I need a bone meal machine for the poppies too. That would be wise. Minecraft cows have infinite milk? What, there's no cooldown on that? I thought there was. What the? Give me emerald, please. You too, please. Okay, I think some of the older villagers in like the old part of the village have more, like have more options. Who are you? Where'd you come from, dude? What the heck? Huh? Raids are changing how they work. Yeah, I heard about that. I haven't really read to the full extent. I know it will make like, it will kind of hinder totem farms though, right? Which honestly for me doesn't really make a difference. But also like some of the farms are like so OP. I'm like, how could you even, how could you even go through all these totems anyway? So much iron. Yeah, iron farms are so OP, honestly. Wow, I had them all along. <laughs> and I made you all side quest with me for like three hours to make that fishing hut. <laughs> what? I had them all along. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. Good. Oh, chat. Classic. It's about the fun we had along the way, isn't it, though? Isn't it? Is there going to be a part two of the farmland? Yes. I'm working on the 200 days currently. That should be ready in, like, honestly, I think a week and a half. They take quite a while to make, but it will definitely be ready sooner rather than later because we're in, I'm in, um, in the process of making it right now. I'm on day 10. No spoilers. Ford F-150. And then Toyota, was it Toyotathon? But I think it has to be all caps. <laughs> Listen, it's about the fun we had along the way. Wait, you need 10 villagers for a bedrock farm? What? Iron farms are also one of those things where like literally game changing because I find it like makes just trading so much easier, but they are so OP. Like there's more iron than I'll ever need, you know? Yeah, it's all about the friends we made along the way, chat. Yeah, they're so worth it. I find, I honestly, even if you build the ones that are a little bit more basic for like a single player world, it's so worth it. Okay, so we got Ford F-150. You look like a Ford F-150 to me. It's got all wheel drive. It's got power steering. It also has a backup camera and those sensors on the sides uh, for blind spots. And, oh, what else does this one equip? Leather interior? Dude, you've got leather interior? Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at him go. He is trucking along. Oh, all terrain, look, he's all terrain. Those are some expensive tires we got. Look at him go. Look at Ford F-150 go. That's our boy, yup. Yup, he's strong. He's strong, this one. All right, we got Ford F-150. Now we gotta go find Toyotathon. I'm sorry. An iron farm in Bedrock requires 10 villagers and 20 beds? <laughs> why? I'm gonna have to look up why, that's wild. All right, let's go back to our little cozy jungle area and we got to go find um Toyotathon in the jungle <laughs> Yep 
The amount of times Mojang has tried to nerf iron farms. Have they really? Like at this point, like they are too OP. I'm always like, I, you know what though? The thing is like, I don't want them to become too complicated to make. I wouldn't mind if like their drop rate or whatever was less because I'm like, it's just so much iron, but like I already struggle enough. Where's my boat? Where's me boat? Oh, Matilda, thank you so much for the kind words. I really, really appreciate it. So happy uh, my vi my videos keep you company while you're studying and all that stuff. Thank you so much for popping in, by the way. I appreciate it. Yeah, I find like, Definitely iron farms are one of those things where whenever I build them, I'm always like, I wish I built this sooner because it just helps so much. Like you don't realize how much of like a bottleneck you're at sometimes when you're just hunting for iron in caves. It's just like, I don't know. It's, it just makes such a difference, especially when you're building and you need like lanterns and stuff. It makes such a difference. A farmland video is how I found your channel. Always farm a lot in Minecraft, so I'm looking really looking forward to part two. Oh heck yeah, that makes me so happy. Farming is really relaxing in Minecraft, I find. It's super fun. And I've never done a farm quite like that. Like I always build my farms more like organic, huge mass fields with like windmills and stuff. And that was the first time I built kind of like a very like structured small farm. It was really fun. Oh, Nicholas, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for hopping into the live. Yeah, just for lanterns alone, iron farms are a huge help. Agreed. Totally agree. Bedrock iron farm is at a minimum of 10 villagers, 10 beds, and 10 workstations. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a lot. That is a lot. Bro. Get away from my dock, dude. Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna find the panda first and then we're gonna name him because if something happens and then like, I don't know, I just worry. There's like a lot of pits around here. I'm not saying he's gonna fall, but like if there's a chance that he did, I'd never forgive myself. We getting a 200 day cozy farm vid? Heck yeah, you are. Heck yeah. It's gonna be the next video uh, up on the channel for sure. Hopefully it won't take me too, too long, but I am completely vibing with it too. I was hoping, I was hoping you all would want another one because I was like, I really liked playing in that world. So I was like, I need an excuse to go back. And everyone was like 200 days. And I was like, oh no, if I must. Congrats on the million views on the 100 days farming vids. Oh, the MZM, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thank you all so much for watching that video. It makes me so happy that you all enjoyed it that much, honestly. That's just like absolutely wild to me that you all like really, really vibed with that video. Makes me so, so happy. Dude, where did, where did Toyota Thong go? What the heck? Chloe, so nice to see you. I hope you've been well. Come on, where? Toyota, man. What the heck? Where are you at, buddy? Is he hiding? Um, I would say that, honestly, I think I lean most towards cottage core builds for sure. I would definitely like to become better at like fantasy style with like those really cool, like droopy roofs and stuff like that, or like hobbit holes and. Just builds like that, but um, I would say definitely cottage core is my primary style. I want to like get better at fantasy and like steampunk kind of. Yo, where did Toyotathon go? I saw him hanging around here before. Come on. Oh, that is not Toyotathon. You are adorable though.
100 days got you back into modded let's go modded's one of those things where i always like yeah i go through phases uh with it as well where it's like i don't play for a while and i'm like i'm really on a, like a vanilla kick and then every once in a while modded i'm like oh yeah i think i've come to realize that i also just like kind of like lightly modded in a way instead of like too many mods i still would like to try um mod packs like i saw sparkle egg did a uh, hundred days in medieval minecraft and it looked really fun but for the most part i like just like light mods that still kind of look vanilla where did where did he go where is toyotathon is toyotathon like hiding from me or something what the heck? Come on. Where would he be? Let's do like an aerial view. We're gonna do like an aerial sweep here. Oh, Toyotathon. Toyota. Should do a jungle, jungle tree base. Ooh, okay. I'd want to do some custom trees though. So first I got to learn, I've got to learn custom trees. I got a lot of work to do. <gasps> Toyota. Can you not put a lead on a panda? What? Do I have to like lure him with bamboo? I think he wants bamboo. Toyota. Oh yeah, here we go. Come on. Come on. I didn't know pandas couldn't go on leads dude what are you doing why are you spinning come on oh this is a nightmare uh this is such a nightmare isn't there like how many i remember red made like a video on pandas in minecraft and there was like oh what dude stop taking a snack break come on oh toyota come on but Red did like a video on collecting all the pandas and I didn't realize that there were so many types of pandas. Toyota, come on. This is like total Ruth energy right now. Oh gosh, okay. Right, let me go first. Come on. Sir, sir. Come on. Oh, did I make it through? alternate way not the way that i would have gone but makes sense okay all right we all we all forge our own path it's fine come on toyota up yep come on get over here come on come on oh my god they are incredibly slow but how many personalities are there for pandas because i remember when red made the video i was like i did not realize there were that many types of pandas it was wild oh my gosh they're so slow Dude, come on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is painful. Oh my god. Yeah, there's different types of pandas. Like, they have personalities. I don't know what the difference is, though, and how you can tell. Oh my gosh. Come on. Okay, can I get... I don't think... I don't think he can get through this door. What do you all think? No, I don't think he's gonna want to. Toyota? Where'd you even get that bamboo from? Come on. Quit messing around, Toyota. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Amazing. Perfect. Now you can stay here. I don't think a panda can open a door, so I think we're safe. And with that, I'm going to name you Toyotathon. And you're going to watch over the fishing hut. There's not really anything here. Maybe I should build you a shop one day, but for now, I mean, like, here, wait. You know what we could do? I'll just, I'll give you some bamboo, you know? Here, take it. Do you pick it up? Or do I feed it to you? Oh, oh! Oh! He's munching. He's munching. He is a happy guy. Look at that. He's a happy little guy. Very nice. Why is this so entertaining? How can I tell what type of panda this is, though? Christy, we'll catch you later. Thank you so much for hanging out. 
There's normal pandas worried, lazy. They'll lay on their back, playful. They'll do lots of tricks and move around. Weak, aggressive, uh, and brown pandas. I don't think I've ever seen a brown panda. Huh. Look at that, Toyota. I, I, he seems like a happy guy, though. I would classify him as just like, just chilling. This is a chilling panda, you know? Just gonna, oh, he's watching over me while I sleep. I'm a little terrified. Yeah. Very nice, Toyota. All right. Well, chat, we named Toyota Thon. We also named our sniffer as well. Well, we named two sniffers today. We got this really cool jungle shack, which we're gonna have to actually, uh, we're gonna have to decorate this one day. I mean, maybe if we just like start stream here and then just like kind of keep going with this, we can uh, work a little bit more on it next week. But I think that's gonna be it for today's stream. That was super fun. Um. First of all, I'd like to just thank everybody for all of the channel memberships, all the super chats, and just for hanging out. I had such a blast with you all today. So, so much fun. And I'm happy we get to have like little fun adventures in our chill survival world. Just helps bring so much more life to this series. And it makes me so happy. It's like extra content for those Let's Plays if you're ever looking for that. So thank you so much, everybody, for all of the great, great vibes today. You all were just like so fantastic to hang out with. And I really appreciate it. So I'm gonna be on Twitch. If you do exclamation point Twitch, um, you can follow me there if you want. I'll be on Twitch on Friday. And if you don't catch the, the Twitch streams, I will be doing another Let's Play here next Monday at 12 p.m. EST. Um, and no video this week because I'm working on that big old, big old 200 days. So that's gonna take a while. Uh, so I guess I'll see you all either on Friday or next week. Thank you all so much again, everybody, and I'll catch you all later.